I'm going to do that. Then we'll... Campbell must start every stream in the bathroom. Yeah, I always do. <laughs> well, if I'm going to teach the game. That, is, then, our, that is our thing. I don't want to go to the bathroom in the middle of a teach, you know? <laughs> Gizmo's looking at me like, what? I don't know why I have to always change the bird's eye to quit. Anybody knows how to OBS better than me? I'd appreciate it. Why do I? Why does it never save my camera control? And I always have to uncheck autofocus on this camera. It's still doing weird stuff. Why is it going like light and dark? They're like strobing or something. I wonder if that's just on my computer screen. I guess I'll look at it up here. Well, it doesn't look like I'm strobing there. What am I supposed to do? Put a bunch of things out here on my board? Yeah, put two on each of the spots. How much money do I get? Uh, I have eight dollars. How did you get eight dollars? I don't know. He gave me eight dollars. Do I get eight dollars? I don't know. Do you even Maracaibo, bro? Bro, this is going to get bad. I've heard you just go in a circle. I told Cam. But there's no cows. I'm just going to move seven every time. Yeah, I've heard I've heard that, that there's... There's, um... Campbell is right though. Every time we've played Great Western Trail, I have spanked him. I will do horrible at this game, so. What is this? Appointed Admiral? Do I keep these? Oh. Oh, this is probably how many points you get at the end of the game, I would guess. Are those secret? I don't think so. Well your what's the top of yours say? Uh hold on, do I have enough of these on here now? Did you put two on each one? Two on each one what? Of the things. What things? The red ones? No, the little dollar symbol things. These. Did you put two on each of those? Oh, no. What were you putting them on? I don't know. I'm going off of the video I watched. They didn't stack theirs. Let's see. Why does my... Why does... Oh, that's not my guy. So this... My boat goes over here. I'm going to be a dirty heathen. Mm, sure. He gave me a bunch of extra ones, though, I think. Make sure that down there. Campbell's a black player, so I'm just going to put that over there with Campbell's guy. I don't know why. I have one more of these. That goes here, I guess. Okay. It makes sense that they go on these coin things, though. That's where I put them. Well, I'm just saying. I don't. I think Campbell not, gave you more than what you needed. That's, you not, what, that's not what heavy cardboard. Well, Edward's dog died, so cut him some slack, okay? <laughs> Topical. I feel bad for the guy. Da, 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 da. Are we live now? We are live. Oh, great. I gotta watch my mouth. I'm sure this is captivating streaming right now. Mm. Yes. We do have three concurrent viewers. You, Jordan Hopper, and Keaton. Ke You're just making names no, up Keegan. now. No, Keegan. Sorry, Keegan. Oh, no. I don't. He, has he ever watched? I don't know. I don't know. He just shares all our stuff. And because he's a boss. Who else? Callum. It's Callum Jordan. I don't think Callum has watched in a long time. Why are we not good enough for him anymore? Nah, man. Oh, a jerk. I got twelve stacks. Is that right? I got fourteen stacks. Well, you put too many Did stacks. You, on. There's there are two on the back of her head. That's a circle. Uh, there should be stacks. 12 stacks. Lies. All right, so, what do so, I do with the rest of this stuff? So, um, you're going to mark. Oh, your big boy. Wait, is, is your one, big boy goes is here. Is there one bigger than the other one? Yeah, dude, yep. it's your Lagranha. Okay. 
then, my, my grande worker. Yeah, so you're the, you're the grande worker. Okay. So one of your oh, markers course. goes on one on the combat track you sure. have on your board. Sure, sure, uh -huh. sure. Then one goes up here, mm. and one goes there. Yes, I see. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, Josh has got all his. Um, then what else do you have? The three little wooden cubes go here, marking your influence with each nation, France, Spain, and England. Are all of our cards here the same, or are we playing as a different country? What's that? Uh, no, those are, what those are is you're going to have, like, quests you can do. I think you're, like, and you're going to choose one of them, and you, like, unlock workers when you complete them, and you also get, like, stuff. But but is this just, is this anything, or is this just showing me, because, like... So, like, what you're going to do is you're going to pick one mine, of these. Mine says Spanish at the top. Um, one says wealth, and one says Spanish. Mine says adventure and power. Um, can I see the Spanish one? That might be something out of the story deck. No, that's just uh, it's just that if you do that one, you're gonna be like chilling with the Spanish dudes. Okay. I love Spanish dudes. So you have to do all of these things in order to get the thing. No, no, no. I'll I'll, I'll explain in just okay. a second. All right. Uh, once we get set up. Where's so that? you have well, you need to take two of your guys mm -hmm. and like. So this is the guys you've already unlocked. Mm -hmm. Then when you choose a card, three of the guys are gonna go on there. And then the other three are going to be in your reserve, okay? okay? But we'll choose a card in just a second, okay? So, um, we're, we're on the street now, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Cool, cool. So, <clears throat> the object of this game, just like any other game, is to have the most points at the end. How many points, what percentage of points would you say are scored at the end of the game? Uh, you'd have to ask Tim Kirsting, but I think the last time I played, oh, we were up here uh, after looping 100. But where were you before the end of the game? Uh, oh, and oh, sorry, what percentage score. are end game points? Yeah. I think like probably about 50% of your points are end game points. Okay. But I think you could also play it where you get a huge score without getting a lot of end game points. Sure. And I think you play where you get a very low score and get a ton of end game points. Sure. Because um, I think there's a lot of different ways you can skin this particular cat. Okay. Um, so basically, the game flow is going to be this. On your turn, you're going to move your boat one to seven spaces. Yep. You can be on the same space as somebody else. And that's this thing, right? Yep. Okay. Put it right here. Yeah, yeah. So, then what you're going to do... So, we're moving one to seven. Yep. What you're going to do is, if you're on one of these big circles, you're going to do the, like, the thing on the banner. If you're on one of the small circles, you're going to do one of three things. Okay? The first thing you can do is you can either take village actions... Mm -hmm. And you get one village action if you've moved at least one space. You get two village actions mm -hmm. if you've moved at least four spaces. And you get three village actions if you've moved at least seven spaces. Mm -hmm. Okay. And those actions are buy a card, get a buck, or discard all of your cards in your hand and get $2. Right, which you can only do, that one you can only do once, obviously. Right. Could, yeah. And so these are it. cities, and these are villages. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Big okay. circles, little yep, yep. circles, Rob. The second thing you can do on a little circle is you could fulfill one quest. Right now, we only have two circles where that's the case, and I'll talk about fulfilling quests a little bit later. Wait, why? But, why can we wait, say that again? We can. The other, so if you don't. Is that because there's a, a little token? On yeah, because there's two? a quest on each of these. So in the first turn. Well, aren't these quests? No, nope, those are like like achievement type oh, thing. They're okay. admiral card. Okay. Right. So in the first round, we're going to put a quest on fifteen and a quest on eighteen. So you can see what's coming up. Hmm. Um, at the end of round one, we're going to place three more quests. Um, at the end of round, and you're going to see what spaces they're going to go okay. on. Okay. And you actually get to see the next quest that's coming up too. Okay. Okay. Um, so do actions or fulfill a quest if you're a spot where you can or do that. Or the third thing is some of the cards you have in your hand when you play them, you're going to put one of your guys for the rest of the game on a spot. Mm -hmm. And if you're on that spot, you can do that action instead of doing your village actions. That's the, so see how it says use one assistant? Mm -hmm. Walk yep. me through the anatomy of a card here, because it yeah. looks like they're all the same. I'm, I'm going to do that just as soon as I finish the flow thing okay. here. So the final thing, basically when somebody reaches here, they go to the KC mode. everybody has one more turn. Mm -hmm. Then that person who made it there is going to go there, score three points, mm -hmm. and then everybody's going to come back to Havana. Mm -hmm. We're going to go through the end of round stuff, and then whoever was next after that person is going to go first for the next round, right? So, like, if I get here, and then, like, Josh is next, and he comes up and meets me here, then you're, you end up there. Mm -hmm. Then I go here and score three points. Then we do the end-of-round stuff. Mm -hmm. Everybody goes back to Havana, and Josh is first. because mm -hmm. he's just, Sure. Okay? At the end of uh, the, the, end, the fourth round, you're going to get a couple extra turns, because it'll be like, if I get here, then you get there and you get there. Then I go here and score three points. 
then you might come here, then Rob might come here, then I score five points. Mm -hmm. um, but that means, like, if you came here the same turn I did, we would both move into there and get three points, and I would move there and get five points, and the game would be over. So you get five points for ending the game. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And if if everybody if anybody who gets there the same turn as you is also going to get those three points. Okay. Um, but usually what will happen is people slow play it to the end if one person's already in there to take a couple extra actions instead of just getting, like, mm -hmm. chintzy points. But, yeah, you get basically eight extra points for being the first person to the end. Okay. Cool. Okay, so let's talk the anatomy of a card, and I'll just kind of tell you the th there's really only three things you can do with a card. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to start with eight cards in your hand. Or do we all have the same starting eight cards? Nope. Uh, there's a deck of, like, 40 cards or whatever, and you get eight of them. At the beginning of the game, you're going to keep four in your hand. You're going to place one right here, and then you're going to ditch the other three. Mm -hmm. But basically, I'm just going to show you the mercenary, okay? Okay. So here's the anatomy of a card. First thing, the gold, that is how much it costs to play this card mm -hmm. to the table, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't worry about, like, basically, if you see a little black guy next to it, or, sorry, uh, I guess it's going to be black on all the cards. I just played them. Black color. Mm -hmm. If you see the, that means you're going to utilize one of your guys in your pool, to be able to do that card. Sometimes you place them on the board. Sometimes you just have to get rid of them back into your supply. So in the Mercenaries case, would we have to activate the dude on the space 18? So, okay, so here, here's two different cards. What Mercenary is saying is that there, I'm gonna put a guy on spot 19, and then whenever I put my boat on 19 exactly, I can do this action, okay? But, oh, so yours says 18, but mine says, or yours says 19, mine says 18. Yeah, yeah. So if, it, if it just has the guy mm -hmm. to play him, you're going to ditch the dude, and it's just going to go back in your supply where you can get it again. Got it. Okay. Um, so that's the cost to play. Mm -hmm. Then there's going to be the amount of points they're worth at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then there's the two different little icons. Mm -hmm. The top one means that you can ditch the card when you have to spend one of these resources. Mm -hmm. and that's, it, that's when you're delivering. Right? That's when you're delivering. And so, like, a delivery here would be, like, say I go to this space right here. A port of plaza. The first thing I can do is I can ditch a card with the corn symbol and discard it mm -hmm. to take one of these things off my ship upgrades and put it there. Now that's full for the rest of the round. So there's spots where everybody can play some. There's one, a couple spots that have two spots. But if I'm the first to port of plaza and play a corn... Nobody else is going to be able to do that. Oh, so this isn't around. two corn. This is just two spots. Two mm -hmm. spots. A spot where one person can do it and one other person can do it. Yeah. Okay. The third thing is quests mm -hmm. items. So like this spot right here, if I'm going to do this quest mm -hmm. or like this right here on 18, I would have to discard two cards with um, the maps on them. Uh -huh. And then I would get the rewards of doing the quest. Would it be impossible for the stream, since there's just three of us, if we turned the whole board sideways? I would so be that fine with that because that, so that way I'm you guys would see it everything there. upside down the entire game. Yeah, we could make that. Yeah, yeah. let's go through the rules. Oh, I, just, I, yeah. I, just want, I just want to rotate it. I honestly think that. Otherwise, would be the best I can way tell you right now, I'm not going to pay attention to any of these things on here if mm -hmm. I can't read them. Yeah, yeah. And I probably don't want to do that. Okay, so the final thing on the cards, and it doesn't really matter if you see my hand of cards, so I'm sure. just gonna get it out. Um, there's a few different like so basically. So hold on. So if we're if we're doing the quest or whatever at the bottom there. Do we also have to discard the guy to get the symbol on the bottom, or do we just have to have them in our like tableau? No, no, no. So like, if you want to do the quest, or if you want to get this thing, you're discarding the card. Okay. So you're spending this card as a corn. Okay. Or for the quest, you're spending this card as a map, Got and it. you get rid of them. Okay. You're always going to draw back up to your hand size at the end of the round, mm -hmm. so spending cards is not like a bad thing. Okay. However, a lot, a lot of times you're going to want to use the cards for the actual, you know, thing that you get from them. And there's a few different colors down on the bottom. Uh, we can explain the cards better as we go on. But you're going to see red banners. Mm -hmm. Red banners are permanent passive abilities. So, like for the sailor here, anytime I go to combat, I get to boost my military up one first. Or with the pioneer, my explorer steps increased by one. Okay. Mm -hmm. The gray banners are just something you get right then and never again. So, like this mercenary gives me one of these tokens. See how there's a little hand on mm -hmm. it? The blue things are the abilities where like you put a guy on the board and then when you're on that space you can do the blue thing and what this says is i get a figure i get to remove one of these things to help upgrade and take one town action okay but that's only when you're on the that's only when you're on yeah when it says in, in 19 so for your guy yep you'd have to have that guy played on spot 19 in order to, be able to do the thing yep and then the final thing is an income boost so see this card the sailor here when i play him I'm going to increase my income by two, in, and I'm also in going to increase my income by two if I own one of these. See how it shows that? Mm 
Mm -hmm. These are retroactive too, so if I play a Sailor and later I gain one of these Anchors, I get to increase my income by two for every card that already has an Anchor income increase. So the two ways you use a card are one, you ditch them for what's ever here, and mm -hmm. two, you pay the cost and they stay in front of you yep. forever. Mm -hmm. yep. And then forever you have whatever the abilities are on the yeah. card. Until you discard it to use it as the symbol. No, no. If you play a card, if you pay to play a card in front of you, it's in your tablet forever. You always get the symbol. You don't have to discard it for the. No, symbol. no. You never. You, you either use the card. It's a multi-use. So you either are discarding. Okay. The card to do the stuff, or you're playing it, mm -hmm. and it goes in your tableau. Now you're only allowed to play cards at certain times. Mm -hmm. So the only time you ditch cards for the resource is when you're putting them on these things here, right? Mm -hmm. The only time you ditch cards for quests is when you're completing a quest. And the only time you play a card to your tableau mm -hmm. is when you're allowed to play for a tableau. Okay. The most common is going to be your village action. So mm -hmm. let's talk about those village actions. Really quick. <clears throat> so when you move one space, you can do one village action. When you move four or more, you can do two. And when you move seven or more, you can do three. And there's yep. three different village actions. The first two you can do any number of times. So mm -hmm. with action, one of the actions is to play buy a card. Mm -hmm. Which means so to pay for it. To, to pay for a card and put it in your tableau and do everything that the card or says. Or get a dollar. Or you can get a dollar. So if you have three village actions, you just want money, you get three dollars. Yeah. Last thing you can do is discard all the cards you have left and get two bucks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now is a good time since we're talking about playing cards and discarding cards. But if you do that, you're not going to have any more until the end of the round. At the end of your turn, you draw all the way back up. Oh, every turn. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. Yep, yep. So now is a good time to talk about uh, these three spots above your board. Mm, yes. There are spots you can, like, Tetris hold a piece. Okay. Anytime you're going to like any, it's like an anytime action. If you have an empty space in here, you can put one of your cards in there. But once you put a card in there, the only way you can get it out is by taking the buy card action. So if you place a card in here, I can't discard it to, for a resource. I can't play it as a quest. It's just going to be built. And then to build it, I would have to get a buy card action. And you pay and the cost? Yep. So if I want to discard all my cards to get two bucks, right? but I really want to keep this card in my build pile, mm -hmm. I could slot it here first and then discard all my cards. Okay. Okay? But, again, you can't use them for quests and resources. You can only use them to put in your tablet. Sure. Okay? Mm -hmm. What's going on up here? Okay. So um, let's talk about then quests really quick. Mm -hmm. So we're good on the village actions. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So quests, whenever you get to fulfill a quest, which is when you're on these spaces, also we haven't talked about like this jungle track down here, but we will. Basically, if you do the thing, you see this little compass symbol? Mm -hmm. You start with one compass symbol on your board. You see that? Uh, yeah. So, what a compass symbol means is for every compass you have, you get $2, which means I get $2, and then two points. Mm -hmm. There is a card that's very common in the deck called Quest Hunter, which is the main way to get more permanent quests. Um, like this Mary Reed card has this symbol on it. So basically, if I own Mary Reed, now, if I fulfill a quest, I have two compasses, so I get four dollars and two points. Or this is four points, and I get to move two spaces. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's that iconography. Um, this symbol right here, see that right there, the globe. That's how I move a guy forward. Two that spaces. that lets you move this guy. You don't have to move the total thing, but you just get what you land on. So if if I want to move two, I can move here by one and take three dollars, so I can move two and take two points. Okay. Okay. Later, it works like uh, Rajas of the Ganji. So if you play that one, Josh. Mm -hmm. So like if. Oh, wait, we played it on the podcast. Duh. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you get to move two spaces, you could go one or two. Yeah, and bump. Yeah. You jump here, you can jump. Okay. okay. There's three lines on this board down here. Mm -hmm. When you cross this first line, you're going to get three influence with one nation, which we'll talk about in just a second. If you're the first to cross this line, you get four points. Everybody else gets two. Mm -hmm. And if you're the first to cross this line, you get points. So you just have to follow the arrows. Um, and if you land on one of the quests, you can complete it. Kind of like in Grand o or Great Western Trail, how if you move down, kind of go out of your way to get like those. It's this kind of the mm -hmm. same thing. Okay. You can just pass them by, but there's no reason to go down to them unless you complete them. Once this is taken, it's gone forever. Mm -hmm. These don't ever replenish. So if you want to do these quests down here, you want to be fast on the board. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's just so talk. To be here, you have to discard two cards out of your hand that have those symbols. Mm -hmm. Yep. Exactly. And then you get compasses equal to. So for every pump. compass you have, you get to increase your... So that the swords mean bump your power up. Uh, and we'll talk about... We're going to talk about power and influence next, okay? Mm -hmm. um, I could not figure out why, why this had to do with Rajas of the Ganges. And then I realized you meant the boats. Yeah, the river. Like if you push past. Mm -hmm. And you go past the lightsabers. He could have also said Gugong. Gugong! Sure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, okay. What other games could he have said? <laughs> A lot of different. Just let him go. This symbol means you get to upgrade your boat once. Yeah. So, like again, 
we remove one of these discs. I'll talk about the different upgrades. Most of them are pretty easy to figure out, mm -hmm. but basically you just get an upgrade as soon as you have the second one lifted. Um, the red, again, the red banners are permanent effects. The gray banners are one-time things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so when you get to this spot, that's the main place where you're going to do fighting. See that symbol? Mm -hmm. This one up here is another place to go fighting. You obviously fight mm -hmm. Mm hmm. So when you roll here, you can do a fight. You use a big guy? Oh, sorry, no. When you roll here, you can do a fight. Okay. Uh, the way that works is the first thing you do is you're going to take one of these tokens and flip it up. Mm -hmm. Okay? The first thing you're going to look at is it's going to say... Um, and we're following this right here, right? This is combat? Yep. You reveal, then you pick the nation you're going to so, fight. Yep. And then you determine the combat value. I vaguely remember so, this so part. Check, so check this out. See at the top, there are banners of three different types. There's the blank ones, there's the ones that say three dot, and there's the ones that say one dot. Mm -hmm. So what this says, this is just normal nothing. Three dot. Whatever country is in third place gets an extra three power. So if you fight for the country that's doing the worst, you're going to get three more power when you fight with them. Mm -hmm. This one's one minus two, meaning whatever country is in the best mm -hmm. is going to lose two power. Yeah. If there is a tie, nothing happens. So if two countries are tied for first, n nobody loses power with this one. And if two countries are tied for last with this, then no country gets extra power, okay. right? Then you're going to look at France. Like, so this says France has four power. Spain has four power. England only has two power, but you're going to get three bucks if you fight for England, mm -hmm. okay? So here's how this works. Look up here on your board here. Mm -hmm. um, you can spend as much power as you want when you're fighting mm -hmm. between what you get with your flag and then also what you have going on here on your board. So if you have, like, eight power racked up, mm -hmm. And you fight for England also, you could spend 10 total power. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay? So the top line says that I can spend two power uh, to gain one influence mm -hmm. in one of these countries. So just boop. Or five for two. Or, or get two for five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The second thing says I can spend $4 to bring a cube of one of these countries and put it. And see how where there's all these spots here? Mm -hmm. These are the spots that cubes can go. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, like, with four power, I can take you know, one of these and pop it there. Now, white owns Santiago, and I get four coins right away. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. I could spend six power to take a different country's cube. Now, you only get to fight for one country, right? But on a later turn, I could spend six power and be like, oh, I want Spain to actually take this spot over. So, whack, I spend six power, I displace England, I get four coins, mm -hmm. and this just goes up here. So, okay? for six, this means you get to displace a cube, the, the little slash. Yep, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's exactly what that means. Yep. Okay. okay. If you have unlocked the third row, and I think you just get to do each row once, right? Yeah, so, that's, yeah. What it, that's what mm -hmm. it said. Yeah, yeah. The third row... So when you fight, if you had enough power, you could do each row one time. Yeah, exactly. But you have to have the third one unlocked yeah. first. Mm -hmm. So the third one says if I spend two power, um, I can get an influence of the country and place a cube on a village spot. Okay? Mm -hmm. And... Um, I, you get to do something special if there. I think you get something. Oh, what that means is the the last part of the iconography is if somebody has a assistant there, mm -hmm. you get a coin. But if it's your own assistant, you get three coins. Mm -hmm. And then if you use five power, you could slash somebody's cube there and replace it. And you okay. put it anywhere you want. Oh well, any of the little spots. And what's the right. benefit of placing a cube over another? The benefit of placing the cubes are this. Um, as you boost up the amount of cubes that have been played, mm -hmm. the value, the total value of that country is going to be higher. And at the end of the game, you're going to multiply their points oh, versus where you are in the score. Now, the reason you would slash other cubes, maybe I just want to get four coins, because like you don't, they don't lose this track when they get slashed. Yeah. But whatever country uh, is the most powerful at the end of the game gets an extra two points per. So like. You're, if you're at the five multiplier with France and they're the strongest, you're going to get ten more points. Mm -hmm. If they were the strong, and then the second strongest country gets one more point, and the weakest country gets zero extra points. Sure. Oh, okay. Whoever's the highest on each track at the end of the game is going to get two points. Mm -hmm. um, and that's that's combat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can so you, what, can you get power from this guy somehow? No. But what, what you does can this do, mean? what you can do, and this is the final thing for fighting is any extra dudes you have hanging out here mm -hmm. can be crushed for a power so I can get one power by killing oh, okay. that guy. Okay. So you're adding you're adding how what you are mm -hmm. here plus yeah. plus what you pick from the card plus every guy mm -hmm. you kill. Yep. 
but you don't usually do that too much. And again, you have to spend power to use it. <sighs> you're spending, and you yeah. Spend so it's not just like once you top out eight, I don't just have extra power like yeah. the rest of the game. Um, but you can't go above eight, right? Yeah, and if you gain power when you have eight, you might get like a point or something. Oh, does this mean know. just like at any time you can just kill a guy to bump a thing? Is that what this is? I think we've determined that you can. There's very few times you would kill a guy just to get a power unless you were in a combat. Okay. But uh, I think like there's some like this says right here, spend two power um, to get this stuff. And I think you could like kill a guy right then for it to, for one of the power. Right? So for instance, if you had six power, you could either do the second thing on here or you could do the two and the four. Totally. Yeah, okay. exactly. Yep. And, th and that is when you're on this spot. Yeah. So, and, and 20. Yep. And th so those are all the things you're going to do during the game. Now to talk about the end of your turn, at the end of your turn, you're going to draw back up to your hand size. Which is You can four. draw from the deck or you can take the face up cards, but every face up card you take, you have to pay a coin to get it. Okay. Okay. Now let's talk about the ship upgrades. So obviously that first ship upgrade right there lets you do the, the, the extra combat stuff. This ship upgrade, the four plus two makes your hand size go to six. Mm -hmm. This one that says 2 plus AA, 5 plus AA, makes it, you have to go less spaces to get extra village actions. Mm -hmm. The okay. one that says, uh, there's one that gives you three points, and then whenever you take cards, face up cards, you don't pay anything for them. Mm -hmm. There's one that gives you just a boost of five coins, mm -hmm. which is good really, really early. Um, this one down here gives you two extra village actions you can do, but you have to unlock one before the other. Um, one of them is an action where you can get a power and a coin. And then the second one is where you can discard three cards that have the same resource, not quest symbol, to get two coins and two points. Okay. Mm. There's another one. You can unlock this one for three points and then the next one after that for six points. And then these two over in the right, you have to have at least four upgrades before you do these ones. Um, the top one, as an action, uh, basically it lets you place a cube in an empty village. Which, where are you at right now? Uh, Up here. See the four check? Oh, yeah. That lets you place a cube of your choice in an empty village. It can't already have a thing there. And you uh, you get a... Um, you get influence, in influence with that country, and then you get a dollar. And I think that has to be your last village action. Like, you can't do that multiple times in a village. Um, and then the, one down, the next one down gives you an instant either three moves, four coins, and four points or go to the next scoring line with a country of your choice. And then this bottom one, you have to have at least six upgrades. It's, it's just instant 10 points. And, and I'm sorry, what are the two on the left here? Those are additional village actions? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And the first one is Gain increase your power and a, yeah, and a, and a, and a, a buck. Mm -hmm. And the second is three resources of different types to get yep. two bucks and two points. Mm -hmm. Same. So same let's way. talk about the end of round really quick. Mm -hmm. At the end of every round, the first thing you're going to do so um, we're playing with the Fister approved variant where normally you would flip over one of these endgame scoring cards mm -hmm. and you just don't get to know what endgame scoring stuff is. But a lot of people complain that it's like, I've been working all game and then somebody beats me because they get a lucky endgame scoring card that mm -hmm. works with them, but I didn't know I was supposed to build towards it. Mm -hmm. So we can just see all of them. But basically what this means is they're all going to be cocked like this and you're not going to be able to buy them until so like you can buy this one at the end of round one two three and four you can buy this one at the end of round two like they yeah. just um, they just they're just gonna unlock right then you can buy one card from your hand or from your board or this if you want so like mm -hmm. after we unlock this mm -hmm. and if you choose not to buy something because you have to pay and you might not have money mm -hmm. if you don't you just get two points mm -hmm. then you're gonna get income mm -hmm. which is money incomes here mm -hmm. and point incomes here um then and any green things you have yeah, yeah, no, so that and that influences that. This, yeah, oh. so like so when you play the thing, that's so this is gonna if you have the axe symbol, it's gonna give you a four point income. And if you have the crown, it's gonna give you two points uh, of income. Oh the worst, that's already gonna be mm -hmm. up there. Yep. Um Then we're gonna remove all the discs from here so they can be used again. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna slash all those cards and put four new ones out. Mm -hmm. Um this is when you do it um sorry, this is when you unlock the next card. Mm -hmm. Uh sure. So like you can, you'll be able to do one. When you say buy it, twenty bucks. It's yeah. twenty bucks, to, but everybody can buy that one. But the first person to buy it gets a gets two points, and I'll explain those in just a second. Can you drop a, a token on it? Yeah. You, well, you have to drop. You have to get. You have to use a guy on it. See how it says guy down. Mm -hmm. You just put a guy oh, there. So you have to have one that's available. Mm -hmm. 
And then um, we'd do new story cards if we were playing a, st- a story mm-hmm. mission. Which we're not. Which we're not. And then we're going to place, instead of that, we're going to place new quests out. Okay. And then we'll bring all the boats back here. And how do, I guess, how do we get new dudes? Like, I know we're using our guys. Um, okay, so here's the main ways you're going to get new dudes. Um, this space right here gives yeah. you a dude. And then you're going to have one of these admiral cards out. And whenever you complete the mission on the admiral card, which we'll talk about in just a second, you can at any time, once you've completed it, just take the dude and he's yours. And then there's other cards that will like give you dudes here or there. Okay. Like this quest right here gives you a dude. Uh, this spot right here gives you two dudes. But like, are you using dudes on your turn? Or is that fairly so the, common? The only two things you use dudes, there's three th- uses for a dude. One is a card has you place it on a spot. Yep. You never get that guy back, right? Mm-hmm. The second thing is you have to sack a dude to play a card. Those are cards usually that give you income. The third use of a dude is to sack him to gain a power oh, when you're fighting. Okay. Yeah. And um, the last one is to put him out on one of those cards. Right, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So we pick one of these? Um, yeah, so here's how these cards work. Um, basically, I have a guy sitting here. So this card says glory. It says number of combat tokens. If this dude's sitting here, I can pull him any time after I have three of these things to get $2. But if I wait until I have four of them, I can pull them any time to get $2 and two points. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so you're just looking at that thing. Once you've pulled your guy in time, once you've pulled all the guys off your card, mm-hmm. you're going to score. You flip it and get yep. the bottom thing? Mm-hmm. Yep. So you have two of those to pick from. What does number of assistants mean? Just how many you have Do, right How here? many dudes you have on the board? See how it's a little Oh, on the spot? board. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um... Ship upgrades. What haven't we talked about? These end game scoring cards, and they don't don't have to be done in order, right? No, they do not. Okay. So uh, the one, the main way to get a crown Mm -hmm. is to get one of these. So that's if you buy one of these cards, you get a crown. Um, You can only have one of each of these tokens. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and that's used for this stuff. I was going to ask. Yeah, so the the use for the card thing. So like, this card gives me a house token. Cool. But gives me an extra four points and two points per round if I have a so metal like, and a crown. I have three cards that have those, so like I want to maybe look to see if I've got a card that gives me an axe or a yeah, yeah, yeah. crown, which yeah. they don't. Right, but like but again, you can only get one anchor. Right, I like get that, but if I if I if played if I played all four of these cards, mm-hmm. like that's a lot of stuff, yeah. right? Yeah. But I, but then none of these cards give me those two things. For for the record, what, what two things. Sorry. Well, like, so I just so happen to got dealt four mm-hmm. cards that have, are like all yeah. the same matching income, right? Yeah, I have I have a ton of. Uh, did you get a bunch of Conquer Village cards? Oh no, you got a bunch of pinnaces. I got a bunch of harbors or harbors, yeah. So, but then like I don't have any way to get these tokens. Right. Like, like I need to find a I need to find cards that do that, right? Yeah, and so like you need like an axe card, like a ship builder gives you an axe card and axe token. But like, there's a lot of cards. Um, so, oh, one last thing: some cards are gonna have. This is another reason you want to get cubes on the board. I have this Mary Reed card. I can only play her if there's currently three white cubes on the board. Uh, like this guy's gonna be yeah. Three red and th- those are usually really good cards because you don't have to. Like they're usually give you like this Mary Reed card. I can only play her when there's three white cubes on the board. So this just oh. means when I whenever I explore it goes, I can go up to one more space. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they stay forever even if you like the cube number goes back under. Get three bucks and two VP per. So whenever I stop on Martinique once she's in play, mm-hmm. I get three bucks and two points for all my guys on the board. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. F- final thing is, if you decide not to use a guy's ability or mm-hmm. you go past him, I think you get three points. Okay. So like, if you get a guy down first round, he's going to be worth at least twelve points to you. All Even right. if you don't. So like, anytime you pass one of your assistants or land on a spot but decide not to use it, mm-hmm. you get three points. Okay. Oh. Do we um what was I just gonna ask? I think that'd be on the Oh sorry, two points. It's on the board right there. Where are we putting what are we what are the discs? Like I know you said that we pull discs off the board. Where are we putting them? Oh okay. so usually the main way to get rid of discs. Oh right, they go on these. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of the, when you see this symbol that just shows you picking one up, you just pick it and ditch it. Mm-hmm. All right, what let's, is, let's give this what a is shot. This? That means we're gonna pull all these off so they can be used again. Okay. These both seem cool. Yeah. I'm going to start um, with that guy. I, so here's, I would say, first game recommendations. Is I would try to get a good income going. Money's important because cards are expensive. Mm-hmm. Um, wow. So yeah, you get to keep four cards in hand and then one card in your, like, in your slot to be built. Oh. Okay. Um, 
I would say tanking one aspect is also a really good way to do pretty well. So like you can go heavy into quests, you can go heavy into income, you can go heavy into fighting, you can go heavy into like find your production chain for like points and or money. Are ship upgrades good? Ship upgrades are great. I think I'm gonna do adventure. I'm gonna do well. Where does each go? Just over here. Hmm, let's do urge for discovery. That seems fun, right? Okay. So I keep four cards. You keep four cards. Yep. And then right. is this is this is this the, the deck of cards right here? Kind of discard one. Just over discard, here? yeah. And then we'll just shuffle them one. Rob, which ones are you keeping? Do we want to tilt the thing? Yeah, I would love to do that. Your. So. Sorry, Twitch. Or however, sorry YouTube. YouTube, whatever we got. Yeah, I'm not gonna rotate the screen. I think it'll be. I think it's still fine. Yeah, it's just I appreciate. So Campbell kind of knows what he's looking at here. I, I think anytime you buy a card, you can buy one of these available things here. By the way, Hold on, I'm just um, but this way some more. Sure. So anytime you buy a card, you can buy one of the endgame scoring cards. But don't forget, you can only buy the ones yeah, that one. we've unlocked. So we've unlocked round one. We have not unlocked these ones yet. What triggers the end of the game? When somebody gets to here you on the fourth two more round, yeah. it goes up here. Oh, so we play four. So one round is going all the way around. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. I right. so we put one in our spot down here that we're going to build. Well, you just get yeah, you get to lock one in that you would want to build. Like so, basically, you get to keep five cards, but you you know you put one there that. Oh, so we have four in our hand and one in the build. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's like. The master builder for every card is a dollar cheaper. Yeah, that guy. I mean, if you get a bunch of those guys early, it's good, but they also cost a decent amount. Oh, there. So there's lots of the same guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so so the cards with the brown ropes are the standard deck, and then the cards with the light ropes, um, like around this border. See, like these light rope cards, you oh. shuffle forty of those in. Oh, I got all brown ropes. Yeah, no, because you well you yeah we deal eight cards from the brown ropes. Oh. And then shuffle 40 light rope cards in. So those are the ones that get, like, funky. Okay. Which is why you're going to see a lot of the same stuff in your hand early. I don't know. I think an innkeeper in Martinique seems cool. Ma well, and also make sure you're keeping cards that you can, like, ditch for... Like, you're going to want to go to Santiago on your first turn, probably. Because <sighs> they get, you get you. an extra guy. You don't have to. I'm, I'm moving seven every turn, Cam. So we yeah, hold you on. Do you. So, th but this guy <laughs> do whatever you want. is this guy like I get the thing now, or I have no, to no, build him? No, no, no. You have him. to buy him. That's what, you know how you like you lock a Tetris piece. Yeah. This is just, like, you're just us locking keep this. A, keep so a the, card. These are the spaces you can put stuff you don't want to discard when you're like discarding cards for two point two bucks or like trying to get more stuff in your hand. So four cards is your hand limit, huh? Yeah, until you unlock six, which you sh should probably do at some point. Okay. Okay. I would say a lot of times the first unlock people do is for five bucks though. Oh, we should Twazi for, for Claire. I don't want to go first. If you don't want to go first, we just have Rob go first. Who's first player, Rob? Be the one! Rob's first. Look at that. All right. Okay, so hold on. The, thing that's still, go, Josh. the thing that's still throwing me for a loop here. I get an extra two bucks? Yeah, because I get an extra buck. Yeah. So the thing that's still throwing me for a loop, if I build a guy... I can build him from my hand. I don't have to build him from here. Right. And when I build him, he like goes what he goes off you to the side. Yeah, he goes off to the side here. So, mm -hmm. And then so if, so if my first action were to be to spend six dollars and to drop one of my guys on Petite Grove in the mm -hmm. two spot here, then I could go to Petite Grove, and because this guy's here, I would yeah. get the I would get the thing, get the thing, get the thing, and then when I build him, I get the thing. No, you um. I don't think you get the. Like when do I get the token? That's that said that that it shows on him. You, so okay, when you so play him. so you play him with an action, right? And going to Santiago will give you a village action. Okay. But normally the only way to get village actions is to go to little circles. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so if you play that card, then on the next turn you could go to two and do the thing that he does. But if you play him, but you got to play him before you can go to his spot. So my question here is: Does this stuff? Does this stuff? Um, I'll wipe off the board so you can deliver it again the next round. Yeah, yeah. Then it wipes off here. Okay, so like these stay out the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are there more of these? 
I'm just curious, like, for randomness. Are there more of which? Like, are there more of these things than are on the board right now? More of the Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a bunch of them. You, you use, there's two of them you always use, and I think this is one. Yeah, the two with the wheel. I think this is the other one we always use. Okay. No, that one is. Can I have the how you play the game card? Yeah. There you go. All right, Rob. One. You're up. Do the thing. So Two, I move one to seven spaces, three, and then I'm gonna deliver. Uh, I'm gonna deliver this thing. Right. I'm gonna discard those cards. So I delivered that symbol, and I'm doing what Campbell said. I think having money's good, but. So I'm gonna do that. Yeah. And then yeah. I and then I get to take one action. Mm -hmm. Which is usually playing a card, but it doesn't have to be. I mean. I only have seven dollars, so no. Oh, we have eight dollars. Sorry, still no. Uh, what else can I do? I can just get a dollar. Or you can discard. If you don't like your cards, you can discard all of them and get two dollars. Nope, I love my cards. I just need a dollar. Okay, so I guess that's what I'm doing. All right. Okay, and where away we go? Come here and discard that. Where I go? Do do that. Okay. And I'm going to play. I need money. The so money. let's just play Pioneer out of my hand. So seven bucks. Mm -hmm. Play Pioneer. Mm -hmm. and oh, and so, then I get to draw a card. Yeah, you you and you can draw for the face up ones for free for one dollar, or you can get the face. -up ones. <gasps> Sorry, I got those backwards. You can draw from here for free, or take one from here and it costs you back. Cool, 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 cool. Sure, 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 sure. My turn. Uh, no, no, I. Uh, you play the thing. My income goes up by two. Okay. By the way, see this down here? Basically, like, if you make it to the bottom of the income, you just get 20 points by however many incomes are left and then go back up. That way you don't have to just, like, remember that you looped it once. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, that's just, I see. Mm -hmm. How'd you get an income? Uh, so this guy just gives me two income, and if I ever get this anchor token, it'll he'll give me two more income. Oh, okay, so he's in your tablet. Yep, yep. And uh, now I get to draw cards. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and buy that quest hunter for a coin. So does this refill? Yep. Right now? Mm hmm First thing. Okay, so I am going to go into Santiago. Oh, and I'm sorry. I had to ditch a guy to play the Pioneer. And But I get a guy. Did you get your guy, Rob? Because you also get a guy. Oh, no. I'll get my guy. I'll do my thing. I discarded my guy. Then I'll spend my six bucks to play a shipbuilder. And then I have to again? put a guy here permanently. Um, yep. on, on the flag spaces, how do those work again? Uh, when you, you combat, this is like when you... The second line of combat is how they go on flag spaces. Oh, the okay. third line of combat is how they go on little villages. I'll take this symbol. Yep. And then when I go to Petite Grove, then I get the thing. Exactly. Okay. And if you just if you pass them or decide not to do it there, you'll get two points. And I got four bucks. That's cool. Oh, I forgot I could play my innkeeper. I should probably do, do that you, before do, I get Did you want to do that? I see. I thought you. Were, I, I thought you didn't want to play it yet, maybe because you were waiting to play something else. No, I mean I need money, so you'll have I another chance to play. Dude, money. Game. So is it my turn? <laughs> yeah. I, t I kept all these cards because I thought it was going to be cool to do income, but I think I'm going to keep on just sailing seven, spending them. I don't know. I mean, spending cards is good. I guess I'm going to go here. There's always. I know, good but stuff. I, I wanted to play all these harbors. Oh, that's not going to happen because harbors are really expensive. So I guess I'm going to do that. Like, that would, 16 that would, in like, bones? Round, in like round three, that's something you could do, but like, that's definitely not viable for the first. Like, you want it. You're probably going to try to boost your income into like this zone. I'm trying. I got $2, and I get to do an action too. So I could, I could buy the lady, huh? Mm hmm. I don't have sixteen dollars yet, or I could save up, or I should be trying to save up for sixteen dollars, but I don't have an anchor symbol. Mm -hmm. <sighs> go ahead, Cam. Okay, I'm gonna go here, and I have a corn card I want to toss. Uh, that's conquer. I draw a card, yeah. um, and I get to place that. Wait, now I get this? five bucks. That is, if you have that symbol, you get two points. Uh, now I get a military. Oh, and I, I get to, have to that I symbol? get to drop draw a card. Or, do another, I was drawing off the top. Do a little finger. Do a little finger. Okay. So and now I get to draw cards now. I'll just take one off the top, I think. Okay. Wait a second. 
Yeah. yeah. Okay, so then I'm gonna, for my turn, I'm gonna come up into here. Now, okay, walk me through this. So this is where I would take a village action. And because you used one spot, I get one village action. No, you, you, it's village action or helper, which you're going to use, or oh, so, do a quest. So you so just I'm, get that. So I'm going to use my helper then. Mm -hmm. Okay, so because of the helper, then I get one of these. Mm -hmm. I get to remove one of these. So yep. I'll just, where does it go? It's just in the thing. The, this is the supply. The pool? Okay, and then I'll take there, This is actually the spot for it, for, but who cares? Then I'll take five bucks, and then I get two village actions. So I can buy another card. Do, do I want to be super poor? Yes. You want to be the poorest. Do. You want to be so just so crazy poor. Do I? What's the no, compass do again? Compasses. Uh, that's how many. So like for every compass you have, mm -hmm. when you do a quest, you're gonna multiply like the first part of the quest. So like if I come do this mm -hmm. and I have three compasses, I get six dollars and two points. Mm -hmm. You know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead. I'm. I'm gonna do it, guys. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be crazy with it. I'm gonna buy a quest hunter. I'm regretting and my starting off hand decisions. That's fine. Just ditch them all for my, my stuff and just get new things. I'll go up two on my income, please. Yep. And that was my first action. Oh, you guys getting income? And then my second action will be to discard my remaining cards. I need to figure how to get some income. And get two bucks, and then I'll draw four. Unfortunately, none of those cards. None of those cards are really doing it. Okay. Quest hunters, sailors, uh, pioneers are the best ways usually. So I could just keep creeping along at a one, right? And just taking a dollar. Sure. But you know, we're all moving at different paces. That doesn't mean much to me though. Or I can jump up here and just do this. Hmm, this guy seems I, mean, I suppose I want to maybe get the certain things Oh, so first. sorry. Did you get that? Did you build that card? Yeah. You have to take one of your dudes and put it on that spot. Oh. So what does that mean? Do I do this instead of the action that I'm supposed to take? Yes, I only, exactly. I only moved three spaces. You, you, can, you can either so take... Only, so I only get one action. You can only take the... You, you choose one of three things. Take the town actions... Or use your helper, oh, or, or fulfill, fulfill a quest. A quest. Oh, okay. So if you want to do town actions first before you get to that person, just move one or two spaces. I don't think I care at this point because I have no idea. So I'm just going to use an assistant, which she gives me three dollars, and then she gives me two points because she's on the board. Is that right? No, you only get the two points if you don't use their stuff. Oh, sorry. You, yeah, for that. Sorry. You, see that little thing down there? If you don't use the, mm -hmm. I thought you were looking at that. So yes, you you get two points. Yeah, I'm winning. Yeah, baby. Get it. And then you didn't expend any cards. I'm gonna roll up. No, into I here. guess not. So I don't get a draw. We'll pay a sugar card. Sugar. Mm -hmm. And that'll let me do this, which means my hand size is now six. Honey, honey. Mm -hmm. Now I get to fight, mm -hmm. and I have one power. So I draw one of these cards, and this says whatever's the strongest is a minus two, uh, but nothing's. That doesn't matter, really. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go ahead and fight for England with four power. And we're just going to go to Santiago and get four, point, four points. Okay. And then I get to draw back up. Mm -hmm. And I would like... I'm going to look at what this Okay. I get it. Do you... I think I do, Rob. You get it. I think I'm getting it. I'm gonna buy this card for coin. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna move seven. And I'm gonna I'll come over to here. Sure. Man. Conquer village. And then I'm gonna discard here. I haven't seen. And I'm gonna pull off one symbol that I want yet. Yeah, I like what Cam did. I'm gonna pull this off and I'll pop that there. So then I just. Oh, sorry. I I draw back up to six. Would you give me two more cards off the top there? Well, that screwed up the heart of well, the card. I mean, what you can do is just give me the one that came up. I didn't see it. So. Unbelievable. It's fine. Unbelievable. The heart of the card's okay, broken so now. So now I just reveal one? Uh, What? I reveal one because I'm doing the fight, the combat. Oh, you're fighting? Yeah. yeah you, re you reveal a war token. Okay, reveal a war token. And then you keep token. your war tokens because some of the things have to do with how many you have. Okay, we'll keep your war token. So we talk about what these endgame point right things there. do? Uh, I haven't even looked. 
So this is, yeah, two points for war tokens. Okay. Two points uh, for every ship upgrade. Mm -hmm. Why is there two parts of this thing? The first, the first person who gets it, it gets two points, and then oh. you get a crown token the first time you get one of these. Oh, I need, is that the only way to get crown tokens? There's a card that gives you a token of your choice, mm -hmm. but... Otherwise, yeah. otherwise, that's it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so that's what I've been looking for. Um, this one is four points per assistant mm -hmm. on the board, and then the last one is three points per token. Okay. So, I'm going to come over here. Will you reveal a war token for me, please, Rob? Yeah. Or Campbell, I don't care. So, right now, it's saying whoever's in last place, which is nobody, because mm -hmm. uh, red and blue are tied. Right. So, that don't worry about that. You get a point if you fight for France, but you only get three power. You get four power for Spain, and then you get two power for England, but you get two dollars. To place a cube, you gotta have four power. But you could you have a, you start with a power and you could sack an assistant if you wanted to. Oh, we start with a power? Yeah. Okay, I should be at two power then, because I have this guy. Oh, I'm actually also at two power, because I went to there. Yeah. So I would have four power then. If I even if I took this and took the two bucks, I would get four power. Right. What's that? If I fought for England. Yeah, if you spent because you have to spend the two. Yeah, so I would go bam bam. Mm -hmm. So you can fight for England, which I did, and get two dollars. And now you put one of these so cubes did you out. Not, did you not have to spend your power when you used it? No, because I had four power from England. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So you get to put this on any of the spots of the flag. Cool. So I can place it there and get three bucks. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Here or okay. No, you put it in the little. Okay. So then I'm gonna get five bucks. Yep. And then I'm gonna keep this. And you flip it. There's a little spot on your board. Uh, see where the flag is. Oh, here. Okay. Yep. All right. So one, two. And then you'll draw back up. Four. Don't to go to six. Like I forgot. No, because you got one more unlock than I did. Oh. So I'm only right because I got. I did yeah, the unlock I got there. The four unlocks. I got the unlock there. I got the third unlock there. Yeah, I've only got three unlocks, so I'll just draw the one. And I'm going to. Do you score the points for your cards as you play them, or at the end? At the end. Is it my turn then? Mm, yes. When Josh is done drawing cards, that's the thing. You're like, done. His, so oh. can I go to Maracaibo and fight, even yeah. though there's no. You just can't do the sugar thing. I mean, I don't really know why I want to fight. Fighting's good, but I, like a lot of times I skip it. But uh, like the the one of the reasons you want to fight. I mean, is, I want I need influence. Uh, Josh, you fought for England, so you get to go up there. Mm, yeah, I sure did. I mean, need influence, so... I think in this game you want to do everything a little bit and one thing a lot. <laughs> and then don't forget, if you... One of your... Is one of your things having... Yeah, like having a lot of influence. Eight. Well... I'm just going to go like this and take a dollar. Ow. Okay. I don't know. Am I up? Yeah. Cool. I'm going to just go one spot, take one town action, and I'm going to play a quest hunter. Oh. Quest hunter. You'll get Seven. caught up in the um, quest and hunter. Then what's, out, what's out there? Uh, 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 Conquer Village of I Prince of these two. And I, I have five cards, so i got to slot one of these before I do that. Okay, and will that cost you, what, two bucks? Mm -hmm. Okay. So then I'm going to go here. I'm going to go, ooh, that guy's neat. Maracaibo. Mm. Hey, another shipbuilder. Look at that. And you gain three victory points, then you move one to three steps to perform another main action. Oh, that guy's fun. On 15. Hmm. hmm. And he's expensive. Oh, I've never seen this one. This one's kind of cool. Martyr Return. A figure at any time for two power. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I got a pig. Uh, don't forget, sometimes you gotta sack a guy to play a card. I have not forgotten that in the slightest. Okay. So I can go. You know what? I'm gonna go hard with the cards here, guys. I'm gonna go two. I'm gonna go one, two. Mm hmm. And then I'm going to spend $7. Oh, that's an awesome spot. From you, spend two power, you can spend two power to get... Uh, an influence and six. An influence and six money. Mm -hmm. It's too bad that I don't have to skip that. Just 
I am a biggie dum dum dum. I am going to. I don't have the power, so I can't do the thing. But you I, sure you want? You sure you want to go there then? Um. Yeah, because I don't. I like. I. I don't want to just sit, and I don't. We wanna, can't sit. No, I know. I'm saying like I was here, so I just want to oh. like sit and stall. Oh, I can come up here though. I didn't mm -hmm. see that. Okay, hold on. Oh yeah, that works way better for me. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was looking at the board. I thought it was just going here. Okay, so I'm gonna go one, two. And I'm gonna go up there, and I'm gonna discard the old this thing. No, drop that. So now I've got. Now I'll go. Oh, now I'll go there. And then. This means I get to move my explorer up to mm -hmm. two, mm -hmm. so I can. I, I'm just gonna go one and get free bucks. Free bucks. Yeah. That happens a lot. And then, um, I don't get a village action because that's no, because it'll say if you get a village action. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna play this guy for seven dollars. Oh, and then I'm gonna draw and, back up to six. And this guy just means I have to do this, right? Yeah, you have to sack a dude, and then you get you got two income, right? So that just means I get two income. And then if you have a house symbol, you'll get two more. And then what? This is just a symbol that I use when things happen. That means like whenever you do a quest, you get to get two times the thing instead of one because you start with one compass. Where's that at? See? Just curious. Ah, what's this stuff for? That's where your quests go. Because like if you do a fourth quest, you get three points, and every quest after. Oh, when you take points. these, they go on mm -hmm. your board. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna spend a buck to take, take this dude. Okay. Legionnaire. Cool. Spend four power. I hate to do what I'm about to do. Or no, get four power. Um. Maybe I don't hate to do what I'm about to do. I'll be curious what the campaign changes as you go. I don't think I hate to do what I'm about to do. Actually, I'm gonna go there. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna get rid of a wrecked port. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna start working towards the thing that lets me draw cards for free. And I'm gonna get a power point with, I guess, England, since I already have some of England. And then I'm gonna get six dollars. Mm -hmm. Cool. I am gonna go. That is really good. Oh, I get to draw a card. I'll just take one up. How much money do you get? Harbors and houses. Ooh, there we go. Like that. <sighs> okay, so walk me through the quest token again. So if I go up there and if I complete you go the quest, do this, you get one point per compass you have, which would be two points. Two total. points. Then you get to move two. Mm -hmm. But you gotta play two cards with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that. I ain't worried about that part. But and then do I get to take the quest? And yeah, you t the quest is done. And okay. Then you put it right there. And that's worth something at the end of the game. No, but if you get a fourth quest done, it's worth three points, and every subsequent quest is worth two points. So that's where that comes in handy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go for that just because why not? So I'm gonna go. Will you move me up to eighteen, please? I'm going to discard the Village Elder and the Sailor, which has the symbol. So you get two points. And I get two points. And you get to move up to two spaces. And do I get to take an action when I move up? No. You can only do a quest or your village actions. Yeah, you're choosing one of these three things. Okay. I just didn't know if because you had, it may, it, I may move, I don't have to. Um, well, I mean, you have to move, but you don't have to move your full two. So I can move one. Right. Now the um okay. I'll just I'll go to nineteen. I don't know if I want to go in. No here. no no no. Just move your explorer. Oh my explorer. Yeah. And I can move up to how many? Two. Um, I'll go here and get two more points. I think, please. Okay. And that's it for me. Sorry. Right. I thought it was my ship. And then okay, Rob is going to so fight. I do this. And then I'm going to, hold on, I'm going to see if I want any of these. Well, I'll walk Rob through fighting while you pick yeah, cards. Yeah. No big deal. So I choose a nation. Well, first, what's the top banner say? Last place. So nothing's in last place because only England has been helped out so far. And then you would get four power for France, two power for Spain, but also two points, three power for England, but yeah. also a point. A coin. Yeah. Or a coin, yeah. So it just depends on what I'm trying to do. Right. Really? Mm -hmm. Does this restock 
Or do I have to finish my turn first before I see if I want to? You have to finish your turn before okay. you draw. So I'll take that. And or then... before we restock it, yeah. Let's go here. Oh, I really wanted Frodo Baggins. So I'm going to do four and spend, Rogers. spend my fifth one to do blue, I guess. France. So you're going to do a total of five power? Yeah, so I can do the two You want thing? two influence? So you don't want to place a cube at all? Uh, oh, it's either influence. Well, I, I don't care about cubes, I don't think. Well, cubes are what get point multipliers going, and then also if you place a cube, you can like get a point or two points or two coins. You can't, you don't have enough power to slash anything unless you want to get rid yeah, of. Yeah, but them. I can't do both of those things. Right. And I need influence to do get this thing. Or is it more important to put a cube out? Uh, it just depends on what you're trying to do. So, like, if you have a card in your hand that likes cubes, then you want to get cubes out. Um, if you're trying, I mean, like, I mean, this is just a one-time thing, right? I get two po two bucks. You get two bucks, yeah. But also, it would make Spanish the weakest country, meaning that like Spanish might get a boost in later. Like Spanish is gonna get a boost next time a three comes up. I mean, why do I not want to move two down this track? I'm saying you you might. It's I, I'm just saying it's it, six and one half a dozen the other. Like, do you want to get one more influence point, or do you want to get two dollars? Because you're going to get an influence point if you put a cube, too. Why? Because uh. you get an influence point for taking this action. Oh. So, you get an influence point and get to get a cube out there. and Or get two influence. Mm -hmm. well, you, is, is the good the top or the bottom? That's the top. The explore thing's the bottom, right? What are you talking about? Okay, uh, so if I don't spend my one... These are your goods. The corn, you're saying yeah, 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 yeah. I so can do good. this and I do this, and then I can put this somewhere... Yeah, yeah. Like here for two dollars. Exactly. Okay. Sure. Yep. And I keep this. In and front now, of me. and now you scored at least one point for the end of the game. Sure. How did you get your income up to four? Uh, because I played a pioneer and a quest hunter. So oh, your trouble is up there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And that's my turn, I guess. Okay. Uh, so it's back to me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come do this quest. I mean, you should know when I pick two. Telescope cards and grab the quest hunter. I thought you were. Doing I that. thought you were gonna do it because I saw you pick up a telescope card, but I decided to go there anyway for the six bucks because six bucks is good. See, and also you saved a little bit of power. Uh, so here's my two telescope cards. That's just like a jab in the side. <laughs> so you need to do that. Hey, you said it's power. Four coins and two points. Um. Okay, so walk me through it again. If I go to twenty, everybody's got one more space, and then if I go, am I from the first one into twenty one? Can I get I two get three, cards off the top I there? I get three points, yeah. Uh, actually, I want Roger Woods for one, and then I want one card off the top. Sorry, what was that, Josh? Legionnaire. This guy's neat. That guy's cool. Can I... Um, no, never mind. I think I answered my own question. So you can go here to take an action, or you can go here to fight or move to, but that's going to be your last action of the round. And then we all get one to catch up with you, and then the round's over. So the round's going to last. I mean, if I could pop up here, too, if I wanted to, mm -hmm. and that could be the end of no, it. No, I want to go. Move me up to 19. Oh, uh, okay. So you're going to take an action? Yeah, I'm going to spend seven. And my dude, I'm going to play a uh, Explorer. And I get rid of this guy. And can I bump my money up uh, two, please? You play which guy? Pioneer. Yep. So you got a ditch guy. You did that. Ditch did. Get two money. You get that. Mm -hmm. And then do you you have the axe token. Does he? Do you have anything that? No. Synergizes about no, that. No. This guy wants the house token. And I've got a couple bucks left. You guys heard me when I said those are retroactive, right? Like you can go back and get that stuff. Yeah, after the fact. On your cards? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm just trying to decide if I want to buy a Legionnaire for a dollar. Because that looks kind of neat. You get four power right away. That is sort of sweet. Yeah. I buy, I buy cards all the time. You can see that. But I like, you know, like, I like doing quests. This is probably not going to be a very powerful quest game because everybody's got quest hunters. So everybody's wanting to do them. <laughs> you can, like, get silly points if you do something that other people aren't doing. 
I move one space. I only get the one village action, and my village action was to buy a card. Okay. Yeah, do I go to the end, or do I just... Is it my turn? Oh, sorry, Rob. Yeah. Ooh. Let's start this game over. Hey, you saved two power. Yeah. No, I, I have a better understanding of what's going on now, and I'm not doing things very well to begin. Uh, I'll just take three dollars, please. Take it yourself. I mean, can you move me? Oh, yeah, you're going, uh, you're blue? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Cam. So one, two, three, four. So I could get two actions, but I don't know if I really care about that. Um, I have no power, and I only have one petrol, oh. dude. Yeah, I'm actually gonna do. I want to do that one instead. Uh, I wish I could fight successfully, but. That's probably not going to go well. So, oh, because in order to fight well, you have to have at least four in order mm -hmm. to be able to move a cube. Yeah. Otherwise, you're fighting just to like increase your stock. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, so I think I'll probably just pop up here. One, two, three, four. And let's play this sailor. Play that let's just get a little music. better at everything. This so just gives me a power before I fight. Mm -hmm. Pay seven bucks. Mm-hmm. Uh, Play that fucking yeah. I increased my money by two. And I got. Oh, I should have a color card, huh? Bum, 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 bum. And then once you're done drawing, Rob will draw. So is this I a space where you you can play it? You get actions or no? Not? No. So like, when jo Josh will necessarily go here on his next turn, mm -hmm. then he gets to fight or move two mm -hmm. then i get one more action you get one more action then josh will go here get three points we'll do the end game stuff and then you'll start round two but i can't just go there no okay. you have to no, stop. No, that's yeah. what that the, you're, this is that's the stop. Oh, okay all right so i'll go up there i'm gonna fight oh, did you draw rob no or i can move two down here that's what that's saying that's this guy and because i've got this guy i increase my exploder so i can really move three so, yeah you could to. you could go to like getting that power and then you get three influence with one nation of your choice because i'm the first one that's... no everybody gets that once they cross red okay um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do that and go bam 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 or i think i'm going to throw what you toss me a card up the top rub i don't know that that's stupid so that's that but that's my thing there's no village action or anything it's no. just to go there either fight or move yep and if i move here i can do this if i go up here i'll get three influence and now influence doesn't do anything for you till the end of the game right so that's if you want to pick up a thing pick up something yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and pick up the thing and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna um there might be cards that like you can't play unless you have a certain amount of influence but Does that i don't mean know. spend two power yep so it's a spend oh, two power oh i didn't read the bottom Um, I mean, this is th the this... best way to get power if you're playing a power game is to unlock the village action where you can just take power as a village action. Mm. But there's cards that like give you power before you fight too, and you don't always end up using it. Okay, that's it for me. Cool. Go ahead, Rob. And this is your last action before the end of the round. Mm -hmm. Okay. But like, I can just go here, right? Sure. Absolutely. Would you like to fight, or would you like me to move your guy too? Up to two. You can get two points or a dollar. Oh, I wanted to do the thing you did. Do you have a thing that lets you move any extra? No, but I, but you jump the person, right? Yeah. Like, before you move, I didn't pay attention to what you did. Mm -hmm. Before I could have jumped you and sure, did it. Sure, 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 uh, sure, sure. Maybe I don't want to do that then. <coughs> Cause I'm still gonna get another turn, right? No, this is your last turn of the round. Why he's not? Oh, because next turn he's gonna go here, yeah, and, and then, then that's the, and it. Then, and then we do this, and then everybody comes here, and you go. 
Okay, yeah, that's fine. I'll do that, and I guess I'm gonna take the dollar. Take your dollar. Okay. All right. Are there I'm gonna come more fight. ones somewhere? No, can't look at there. There's not a ton of ones. There's, been, yeah, I, there's uh, not a ton of ones. I've got two here. I can. But I have two ones I could give you and take a two. I did that. Sorry. Okay, okay come on. England fighting good without one going down. That's weird. Um, England has two power. I get a power before that happens, and it's just not enough to place an England cube. Crap. And why do you get the power before? I have curiosity. a card called Sailor, and I get one power before combat. Okay. Um, and so I really should just fight for England anyway and get enough money to buy a card. So, what, so I'll take $2. What's the dealio with crossing this red line again? You get three influence in one country of your choice. Okay. Mm -hmm. And everybody gets that? Yes. When they cross it? Mm -hmm. Yes, Robert Pearson the third. Is this actually a space you go to? No, it's if you want to complete the quest, you move up, and then instead of just going around, so they have two power you go down England. into it. So I guess I'll just go ahead and... Oh, I see there's two. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll go ahead and get one influence in England. Boop. Yep. I'll take three points. So Josh gets three points. Now, here's what we do. First off, uh, you can buy a card mm -hmm. or get two points. And I'm going to spend the six dollars I have to buy a master builder. Oh, that's how that works. Oh, we can play a card right now. Yep. I've only got four bucks, which is not enough. So two points. Yep. I guess I'm going to play this drill master. And he goes out here. Yep. Cool. Second thing, we get income. Mm-hmm. Uh, so nobody gets any points. I get 14. Josh, you get 12. Rob, you get 10. What happens? Income. So that's the green. Mm -hmm. I get 14. You get 12. Oh, it's not like okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, cool. I'm rich! Yeah, you start with base 8. Okay, then we're going to just toss all these. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to wipe those four cards and put four new ones out. Then we're going to make this card available, so this now these two cards can get bought anytime during the round. We're going to put new quests out. They're going to go 15, 18, 9, uh, sorry, 6, 12, 16. and 16. So 6, that's spend a dude, 12, two map cards, 16. Um, oh, that one's cool. That one gives you a full ship upgrade by spending two books. I have no dudes. Uh, this is this is why you almost always stop at Santiago. Because you get a dude. Because Santiago gives you a dude, and dudes are really valuable. Man, I just... And Bear. Rob begins round two. So, we'll remove that. And cool, I guess I'll do the obligatory stop here. I hope I have a Coco. Oh, I need to drop. Would you toss me a card? Oh, uh, except for... Oh, I need a card, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you do draw back up. So, if you want one off the top, I haven't looked at it yet. Well... That way we can hard yep. towards it. Could I snag one off the top? Is it a good one? It's the, it's the one I needed. And there you go. Because now I can do one of these two guys. So which guy is cooler? All guys are cool in their own way, Rob. Four points. Wait, sorry, the blue is when you stop, right? So four points and do that, or three points, and then move one to three and go again. All right, I'm gonna play this dude for the thing. Mm-hmm. Pop that down there. You did the thing. And then I get a guy, and uh, I get an action. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I'm gonna play this guy for eleven dollars, and then this guy goes out on nine. I need guys so bad. Okay. Um, so I'm. I've already played my cocoa. And card. I get. I get the little carpenters thing. Oh. Uh, which. Wow, you have so many assistants. Do you have three assistants now? They give you awesome actions. So. What? Rob has three assistants on the board now. Oh. Yeah, I should have kept the card that gave me things for that, but I didn't. 
The assistants can give you some really good actions. Uh, and I get to draw two cards. Yep. Get a town action. Am I gonna play a card? Except I don't even have the card anymore. That. Ah, yeah, yeah. Oi, 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 vey. Am I gonna flop my hand for two bucks? I don't know if I've ever done that. Flop your hand. I really don't like any of these cards. What kind of quests are out there? Ditch a dude. Maps and books. Maps and books. Maps and books and maps and maps and books. I got tons of books. Maps, 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 books, books, books. Top deck stuff I need. So it's back to me. It's still to you. It's okay. Uh, I'm going to take a coin. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to draw two cards. What's out there? Anything I love? Mm -hmm. Hey, man. Can I get one off the top? Do you love it? Do I love it? Do I? All right, I'll discard the governor. I was hoping to hang on to him, but I need the cocoa. What's the governor here? Kablam. It's the governator. I'll do that. And then I'll take a guy. Get to the chopper! All right, Rob. And I'll draw back up, and I'm going to spend a dollar. Pop, pop, pop. That gives, right. me a, that gives me a power. And I get to spend a disc. Wait. Yeah, you get to get rid of a disc. Like ditch a, a disc? Upgrade. Yeah. Okay, when I do that, I get three points. Oh yeah, I also got three points when I did that thing. What thing? Uh, when you do when you do the thing, that lets you draw cards from the center for free. You get three points. Mm. Oh yeah, I see that. And then for my card, another innkeeper. Mm -hmm, can you? Have, can I, if I took her, can I have two guys in the same spot? I don't see why not, but I've never. It's never come to play. So. Mm -hmm. you, oh. you can you can double up on any card, so yes. That's what I'm here but, for. But yeah. why would you, but you can only take I think the what you it says use one assistant, so you wouldn't want to have okay. an assistant. Like, there, would the be a, there wouldn't be a reason. No, to. the reason to take that card would be to use it for a quest or for a sugar. Or if you get a billion points for assistance for some reason and that's the only assistant you see. Mm -hmm. So sure. am, I, is, am I up? Yeah. No. Yes. Um, I mean I do I mean I this. I do yeah. get a billion points. So pop assist. that. I get four bucks because of my quest hunter and get to move three spaces. I can move a fourth if I want to. Um, do I have two maps? I do. So let's move four spaces. One, two, three, four. We'll come do that. Um, that line must not have been where it was at, huh, Campbell? Yeah, yeah, I just never went back to it. So these two maps, we'll buy that. I get two military because of my two compasses, and then I get to do a fight. Do you even multi-use card, bro? Um, so whoever's in first loses two power. But mm -hmm. England has six power but costs a coin. I'm going to do that. So they get four power. The rule book for this game must suck. Um... So did you complete a quest that let you move the thing to take yeah. another quest? It, and then I just happen to have the stuff. Campbell's going to destroy us. I mean, I don't I mean, get like... Are we surprised by that? No. Uh, oh, and I get free I influence in any country. I don't country. understand why everybody was saying this was like a really hard game to explain. It's not. And No, but like at BGG Con, like this was the game that like nobody could teach. Or like learning... If, I'm guessing learning from the rule book is tough. The rule book is crappy because Tony did a lot of stuff wrong when I played with him the first time. And then like Kirsting read it. And he's like and then like also Tony read it again and he's like, oh, we're doing that wrong. But one of the things people commonly do is they commonly put cubes back on. Is it my turn? No, I just have to I have to figure out where this is going. Um I guess I'll just get two points. And why are you taking the cube off? Or two coins. Because I got to fight because of this quest. So I fight So you it. got to fight and move. Well this quest let me fight. That was the reward for the quest. Like it didn't give me any points, it just lets you fight. Okay. Um so I go there and get two coins. Um 
and then go up one there. And then that goes there. And I've done three quests, so I can get two points and two points. And then I'll take two off the top, I think. Uh, is there any harbor carts out there? The synergy. I have not. Um, I think you'd be surprised. It'll, like everything works. Like I've seen, like having a lot. You have a lot of those guys out, and like those are really strong actions. Mm -hmm. Um, but basically, you just want to get a ton of money because, like, that's how you pivot in this game. Just playing like sh shit loads of cards. Yeah, I. Getting money I don't, is not in the cards for me. Evidently. Well, I mean, but there's a spot where you can spend two. Like, so for you, if yeah, you but not on, until like the end of the second round. But if you were to unlock this thing and like start pumping military by like nickel and diming actions, you could get seven bucks, and then you could explode into here, spend a couple more military, and get six more bucks, and then that gets you an expensive card. Over right here, I already have that. I'll bump up a military. Um, I pull this guy off. And I'll spend seven dollars. Except for I think like the way I'm set up, I'm gonna be too slow to get yeah. anything cool. I got absolutely because like, handled the first time. I I'm this gonna game. I'm gonna want to stop on both of these spots, and then you guys are gonna go past me and get all the cool stuff. I mean, you want to keep a good tempo going, but. Like, people usually stop here. Is it my turn? Mm -hmm. But, like, if you don't care about fighting, like, a good way to get ahead, like, to like if you're slowing down... So I'm going to stop in Martinique and this get... This is to pass Maracaibo. Three dollars. But I need to fight. Uh, I get six points. I mean, I do have, I do have that going for me. I'm going to poke ahead one... And just get Mary read out for nine bucks before I, I more money before I can't. Uh, and that does that and that. What is my? I should probably put these in order that they appear. Uh, that's me. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and so right now the only way to explore down here is to go over there. Uh, yeah, I think one of the. West. Oh, the the quest I bought had the movement on it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think there are cards that let you take like an instant movement too. Yeah, I discarded a guy that was like so when you landed one, on him, you two, didn't three, another action. Four, or five, six, seven, or you don't yeah. jump ships, right? No. Okay, and then I'll discard here to bump this up. I'll get three points. Three points. Let me go ahead and flip one. Okay, so whoever, so this is three, cube plus three. So we're in the third spot. No, no, no. It's whoever has the least board presence, and Spain, Spain has the least board presence. So if I fight for Spain, you get three more power. So I get six power, and I get a point. Yeah, and and six. So having six power also lets you slash a cube, mm -hmm. which um like would let you like slash this bucks. cube and put it in the four dollars space yeah, which if you want to do. Yeah, so I'll take a point. So that's why you're which, slashing. Which you, had, want, you want to go into the good spots. Yeah, and also you can see that I have Woods Rogers here, so I want to have three white cubes on the board to play him. Like, remember how I was like, I've got to do this before a white cube gets slashed. Yeah, uh, so I'm going to move the Spain cube down to there. You get four bucks. You get, get, a, four you get bucks, a point with Spain. You get a point with Spain. And I get. Um, I think that's it. Hold on, what did this, this get me? I get a point, I get a thing with Spain, and then I get four bucks. So you get a point. Did you get your four bucks? No. All right, are you done? Uh, no, I'm not. Not yet, at least. I need to get a card that has a harbor symbol on it. That would really help. 
You mean to gain one? Yeah. Give me four more dollars per, per oh, round. Josh has so much money. Oh, by the way, I probably didn't mention this, but it's pretty obvious. The final round, since you don't need money, the income you get is actually like where you are on the points. It's not like you just get points instead. Man. You get some fat stuff at the end of this track. Yeah, dude. I, I will say I've played this game probably four or five times. Probably five times. Mm -hmm. And I think the consensus is hammering this track is the least effective. This is really good. Quests are really good. A tableau is really good. I like how it's fine. Is it my turn? Yeah. Well, you think that that, that would have been great to know before I just built my whole strategy around going heavy into this. I, I mean, like, oh, the general consensus no, no. is this is the I, worst well, thing. I, to I do. think that's the consensus from like Tim and Bill. Like, you have to do a little of everything. I played a game where I blew the guys out of the water where I got to the end of this track, sure. and that was the main thing I did. Sure. And you, and you can. So from but here, you're going to want to have a strong time. I'm, I'm moving to. Like, mm -hmm. you just have to find a secondary thing to do. So I go one. Two, because mm -hmm. like this is nothing, right? Well, that gives you a power. If oh, you go if there. I stop here, mm -hmm. this gives me a power. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then down here is if I could do the quest. All right, I guess I'll take a power. And then you get three influence with any one country. Cool. And then what is your what's your thing that what is your quest like your your achievement card? Because one of yours has to do with influence, right? It's influence in two nations that has to be at least three. To get the, the points and the money? Yeah, it's got to be two different ones regardless. Oh, and if it's a three, then you get points. So I, need to move, I need to move one more up to the three spot at okay. least. I think that's me because I took my four points from the guy already. So mm -hmm. It's your turn. Okay. Um, well, I can't go play this other white cube like I was hoping. Uh, do I have a sugar card? Sugar. Uh, 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 sugar, uh, baby. Uh, uh, I do. I have three of them. So, Josh, you played a sugar card, right? Yeah. Did you upgrade your ship? I did. I just put it over here. Uh, well, yeah, let's go fight. So, sugar card, let's pop off. Oh, that card is awesome. I probably won't do Explorer. So we'll do that. And I always am jealous that I don't have the third level of attack. Everybody else seems to get to do really good with it. Uh, so I'll go that there. And then uh, I get a power before I fight. And then we'll draw that. So third place gets an extra three, which is nobody because Spain and uh, France are tied. I get four with England. Um, so let's go ahead and fight for England. So we'll spend four just to get two points. Okay. And then we'll spend two to get one more bump with it. And I think that's me. Oh, I got to draw a card. Um, can I just get one off the top? Okay, so I get one, two, so I get two points. And then I get to get two bumps. I'm assuming that's what that means. Which one? That one. Yeah, you get to you get to remove two discs. Okay. And was it one point per compass or two points per compass that you got? One point per compass. Okay. So I got two points. Just want to make sure I wasn't yep. shortchanging you. Yep. And I'm gonna I have to do both of these. What do you mean? Like I used to have to do both of these for the A action, left and right. Mm -hmm. So you have to do the left one before you do the right one. And remind me this is I have to have four You have to have four open upgrades. But right now you have three. So if you can get one more done, then you can start working on the fourth. Got it, okay. Yeah, I'll go ahead and pull that off. Okay. Which I find the I find the top one to be really situational, but the one below it is really really good. And just I'm to instant two. boost of three movement, four money, and four points, or going to the next level with a mm -hmm. thing. You know what? 
I realize now that I totally set up wrong is that these cubes are your income tracker as a military tracker and these discs track your loyalty. Mm. See how they're like shaped like the... Yeah, the thing. <laughs> yeah. Um... And then you can stack them if you're in the same spot. Also, I think if whoever's on... I don't know if maybe everybody is two pointed. I don't know if we'll I'm have a situation gone. like that. I've never gone this crazy for one particular country before. It's kind of fun. I always inbred English people in my hand. <clears throat> Go ahead, Rabbi. Really? <clears throat> so I take it, Josh, so far, I mean, leave her the cast. You probably don't like the theme of this one as much as Great Western Trek. Not even close. But so far, do you kind of like the gameplay? Um, I like this aspect of it. This does nothing for me. Oh, really? Yeah, I hate. Um, I hate that. Like everyone's working towards it. I really like in Great Western Trail that it's like. Um, I don't know. Uh, um, but yeah, this does nothing for me. Um, and this moving like 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 Lagranha or not Lagranha, uh, like uh rajas was frustrating because i was like oh campbell's all the way back here no nope, he's right there let me go three that frustrated me which lets me get two actions the game is that right what's that do you get you yeah, yeah if you if you want yeah because you unlock a thing that if you move at least two spaces you get two actions i found the game to be more frustrating the first play than the second play because by the second play I could see the combos a little better because mm -hmm. there's definitely like the reason this has a really high weight I think is because like you do have to understand so can the I just take a game. buck and then discard my whole hand and take two more dollars 100% then I get to draw four more cards yeah yeah. and it can, and since they're free I could just take yeah, cards absolutely. from out here which usually the reason you unlock that one is if you're doing quests I want that guy uh, let's take this guy. I mean, this I is just a cocoa straight up crap. Is this income or just four bucks? That's four income. Green is income. Oh, that's five power though. But you got pay. All you got to do to get that card is pay five power. That's yeah. awesome if you have a lot of power. It sucks yeah. if you don't. Which I almost never have power, but this game I have a card that gives me power when I. All right, I'm gonna draw those three and then take one off the top. Cool. Okay. Um. Go ahead, well, I don't. As much as I want to spend two power to get six dollars, I just don't think that it's gonna be worth it. Um, How do I get two more power to play this thing? <laughs> should I go do a quest and get some points? Or should I go move two spaces? What can I do if I move two spaces? Get three dollars and three points. So I could get an upgrade. Yeah, we'll go do the quest. Here's two bucks. It's like the one thing I was aiming to do this game was do quests. You yeah. can, I mean, you got to zip towards them. F all y'all. I mean, you could have gotten there before me. I'm going to discard here. I'm going to come up here. Not really. We could have come down your two actions after that. Uh, I got to draw a couple cards. but. And I can move up to two. I mean, yes, I could have in hindrance of like <laughs> my, my gameplay. Okay, so I'm gonna get um, three points and three bucks, and uh, I get three bumps on the influence. Draw a couple cards. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go uh, okay. this guy. And... Rob, can I get one off the top, please? Oh, you're supposed to be doing four quests, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's why you're. I, I mean, I picked that. I picked that for that reason. It's not gonna happen. There's, I mean, there's gonna be a bunch of quests left. We're putting. 
Is it my turn now? Yeah. So there's two more out this round and two more out next round. There's all Rob, there's also cards. Like I accidentally just ditched one that I meant to keep. So I can, there's also cards that let you just draw quests for free for you that you can complete. So I can get power there. That's gonna give me six bucks though. So I'll go here. Looks like I wanna keep this guy. Well, I guess I'm not keeping that guy. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I get to move up one of these, so I'll just move up. I mean, looks like Cam's cranking this thing. I better get up on the. Well, we're just. I've just been whooping England because I got those two England cards. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm done. Um, I'm just going to move one place and get this guy played get before draw. somebody bonks out England again for nine bucks. Okay. And that just gives me two income and two point income. Um, I got to draw a card. Oh, Harbor right there, baby. Finally. That's what I've been looking for. Okay, I am going to go ahead and go. I'm going to move two, please. Uh, so you're going to go here? Yep, and I've got this thing unlocked, so I can, get, I can take two actions for two. Um, for my first action, I am going to. Ooh, I'm one dollar short. Okay. So I am going to. This is discard three of the same good for two pucks and two points? Yes. And you do that as a town action. But like out of your hand? Yeah. Do I want to play or do I just want to. Cool. Okay. Well, for my first action, I'm going to spend $10. And then I'm going to play the merchant. This might be a terrible idea, but I'll spend the merchant it's for $10. Terrible. And then for my second action, I will discard two as my last action. I discarded two identical goods for $4 as my mm -hmm. last village action. So I'll discard those. I'll get my four bucks. So we're almost halfway through the game. Yep. And, and people tend to push faster later. Although we've been moving at like a very like medium slow pace from the other games I played. I well the time I played with Tony and Scott, Scott just took like three turns each round, and so we played really fast. And uh, the like I yeah. played another time where the turns lasted like six or seven turns each. So I'm gonna do that. Spend that. I get seven bucks. Mm -hmm. And I get two town actions. For one town action, I'm gonna spend the seven bucks. Oh, wait, how much money do I have? Yes, I do. I have some money though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know what this does exactly, but I'm going to play this card. Conquer Village. Oh, that one's cool, man. So I get a house symbol. Yep. Which that house symbol is going to give me two income. Okay. Oops, sorry. And then... Yeah, then you just get to put a cube Place on. without reward any ownership market in a free village. I should be too high on the income track. 
So what? So basically, you take one of these cubes and then place it on any of the small circles you want. But you don't get anything for it. Just put it on any circle I want. Small this. circle. Small circle. Oh, like that so one. you don't get to do it on the flags. Oh. And what th what that does is it makes it so that like somebody couldn't roll in and do this action with it, which this is a super strong action if people are doing it, where you just get to if there if the small circle is empty when you go there as a town action, you can place a cube there, get a coin, and you get um, a loyalty with that. Sure. I'll That's how you that. blast the loyalty tracks. So this. Is this just four points? That's a four point income if you have a medal. What does that mean? If you have this, you get to go down the income. That's a point income. Oh, that's a different income track. Yeah. Okay. I guess I spent all my money. Is this when you unlock it, it's a one time thing? Or yeah. is this a new village action? Yep. Yeah. The light, the lighter spots are one time. Oh, I get a card. Um, okay, I'm gonna go. I need to get a different. I better okay. get something mm -hmm. that I can sell. And I'm going to lock that and lock that, and then discard these four two coins. Okay. And then I'll take that, that, okay, so that, that, that. Yep. Oh, wait. Move, Hang on. Move me in. This is a four income thing. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going in. I'm going in. Expedition. So I'm going to move uh, four. So I'm going to go one, two, move into here. I'll end there. I'll discard my two. So I'll get rid of these two. Patron and master builder. Bam, bam. To grab this, which will score me two points. And then I also get a worker. And then I have three completed quests, so I will pull this guy off and get uh, two points. So I'll get four points in total and uh, two dollars and two workers. So you're getting four total points. Yes. And then I'm getting two dollars and two workers. Okay. Josh, I'm going to skip you ahead to here and give you three more points. Okay. And then I'll draw two cards. Rob, this is your last turn of the round. And I'm gonna draw. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get to play an, a card. You get to play a card at the end of the round. Before income. Before income, yep. So, so that's usually when you try to play like income cards. Why is this so? I don't understand why this is so expensive. I guess what I'm gonna is do it is because it's worth five points, but it costs two dudes. What's hang on? What? Expedition. It gets. I mean, it's a. It gets you points. Oh, no, the reason it's so expensive is because if you have a these two symbols, mm -hmm. they're, it's worth eight points a round. This is, this is point income. The green is income. Oh, okay. So not, not only is it worth five points, if you can get it built this round, it would be worth 24 more points plus six more money. And I, I'm not going to be able to afford that. It's 20 bucks. I only got 10. But I might buy it for more money. I'm just going to do the... No, I'm just going to take the two. I'm just gonna do the England one and move England up to here for two, I guess. I wish I'd kept the card that was battles because I've battled four times. Oh no, I gotta put a cube out too, huh? If I use the four power, is it pretty rare to get a four power on a car on one of these? What's what, that? I don't know. What are the odds no. of getting numbers? I don't know. We can. I don't really know, but like most of all of mine have had a four on them. A I just can't kick one out, so I guess I'm just gonna get a point. Oh, I wish I cool, 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 cool. kept the card that I didn't think England would be doing so hot. Well, I'm just trying to hot, get hot, hot. some hot adventuring going on over here. Um, back to me. Mm -hmm. I'll go in. Where, if I move, to, I can move up to three spaces. Which um, would get you three points for three bucks. Yeah. Or just power, which seems to be a pretty good currency this game because of this spot. Uh... How would you get the power? By going one, two, three. Oh, you can go through that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, are you sure? Because the arrow comes out here. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I was thinking that was the next one. So I could go two. And yeah, so I could go down and get three points. Probably just worth it to try. I don't know. I get a power. Oh, I get a power before I fight anyway. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's fight. Fighting's fun. Oh, and there's an end game scoring for fighting. So yeah. Oh yeah. What is end game? Uh, so right now, uh, times you fought, mm -hmm. ship upgrades. Uh, dudes, you the dudes you have on the border were four, so this is worth twelve to rob right now, mm -hmm. and then circles that you have are worth three, okay. which is a max of fifteen for that. Plus, one. you get a crown. What's yeah? Yeah, mm -hmm. you get a crown when you buy one. The crowns are good. All right, so first place loses two. Um, so if I fight for England, I have zero power, but I get an extra influence with them. So I could just fight for England and get two influence by spending two power from up here. Um, but no, let's uh, let's fight for France. If you will, France. Wait, I don't have any stuff with them. That'd be stupid. Viva la France! I'm cool with that. Although I could start busting up that track. All I want to do is be able to say yeehaw. You I can can't. do that. No. I mean, you can say arc. I got forbidden waters in there. That's not what we're playing, though. It could be. You want to say yeehaw? I want to say yeehaw, but oh. I can't. Oh, because Great Western Trail. I'm not wrestling any cattle. So yeah, okay. let's, do, let's do that. Let's just. I'm not moving on down to Let's just do though. England. And just get the boost for him. Okay. I'm not even going to spend the power. Okay. Uh, everybody's in. Okay, so. So end around, we can buy a card. Is that is that the. The first thing we do Slip is tickets. everybody can buy a card. Cool, 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 cool. And yeah. I'm going to buy a Master Builder for $5. I bought. Unless I have something better in here. I bought the Smuggler. Can I get a medal, please? I guess I could buy a Pioneer. I'm going to buy the Explorer for seven, and I'm going to drop a dude down on. Oh. The... We, can have, we, can have, we can both have guys here, right? On Kumana? I think so. Yeah. When I get the medal, I get four yeah, points no, in builder. income. You put me on four. And so then, you have a medal now? Yeah, so I get four points. Four income points? Income. So are we ready to do income? Yeah. I think 14. so. Can we draw a card now? Uh, yeah, if you built out of your hand. Oh, I keep forgetting you can put cards down here. I don't think they Storm like a Tetris piece. I haven't done that once. Uh, Rob, I've given you your four points of income, but I haven't given you any money. I get twelve dollars. Is that right? Yep. I wish I'd had enough to build the harbor that round. That would have been nice. Mm -hmm. That would have been an extra. Mm -hmm. So I need to shuffle these up. Mm -hmm. There's no way to track what round you're in, huh? Sure there is. Oh. I didn't see that stack of things there. Yeah, it's kind of overshadowed by the quests. Uh, so what quests are we doing? Seven and eight. Bibles. Well, that's too bad, Rob. You're going to have to choose between doing quests and your people. But your people will give you two points if you don't do them. Huh? In other words, if you if you oh, just, if I do something if you were else, to blow past these, you get six points. But like if I stop on seven and do the quest and seven, you can't do guy, that. You just get two points. But I still get two points. Mm -hmm. You get two points for every one of your assistants you Whatever. don't use. Fuck, fuck quests. I haven't done one yet. I'm not doing one. I need two. I'm over it. No, no, just don't build any more quest hunters. You'll be just fine. You don't need to finish your card off. I'm gonna run my. I'm going to run my people engine into the ground. I mean, we all have a pretty similar amount of cards played, points, and money. So it's not like... A, I had a really awesome move there, but it's not like I just ran away with the game when I did that. We'll see. Lies! The, yeah, so, the, like, the, the, only, yeah, the only thing I'm here. kicking butt on is England. But other than that, we're all pretty equal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. Do I care about this guy? Place any one ownership marker in a free village and move up to the next rank. Moving up a whole rank seems pretty good. Yeah, it, it's especially good if you're like low on something. Like, like if you're here to pop to there, or if you're here to pop to there. Hey, what is this? The one, two, three, four. The first person to cross that line gets four points. Oh, that's and everybody the blue line. Two. Okay, cool. That's, that's the double blue lightsaber. That's what. The, yeah, the, that's double, what the, blue the double blue lightsaber. Faux show. Sure. Oh, okay. 
Man, I kind of want this expedition. The expedition's great if you have the stuff, and you do have the stuff, right? Oh, you don't have the... Well, I mean, I'm going to have the people shortly. Mm -hmm. And Rob, it, you get to go first. I'm going to take over funsies. Well... Can we flip a card? I guess I'm going to... Uh, the obligatory stop in San Diego. Santiago is so good. And then uh, I'm going to pop oh, I should probably down. see what card I want to play if I go to Santiago. And I get an action. Oh, that's what I want to play for sure. So now for an action, I can just take a power and a buck. Okay. Why don't you get two power when I fight? Because of That's rotten. what I did. All right. Well, I'm going to... Wait, do I have Coco? I... Oh, no. The only Coco card is when I really want to play. Coco! I guess I'm not going to Santiago. Oh, I got Why a discard a card. Go? I'm discarding Santiago. Glorious Conquest. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Wait a minute now. I can't I'm gonna try that. to make this card happen this round. Okay. Cool. What's out there? Hmm. <coughs> Are you drawing cards right now, Rob? Yeah. I'm taking this. Alright. I will ditch this Coco. Okay, check that out. We're gonna go there. Okay. Um and that lets me pull this. Now I get to move three spaces, take four money and four points, or bong up one. Um, bong up. I need to move, and I could move four. So yeah, we'll do that. One, two, three, four. Get power. Um, then I get a dude. Then I'm gonna complete this. Number of ship upgrades, five for three gold and three points. And then I'm gonna play Privateer Raid for seven dollars and two power. And that's one, two, three. And I don't have the harbor symbol. I get to draw cards. I'm gonna, you get, I get two bucks for skipping my dude. Yes, two points. Two points. I'll take two points then. And I'm gonna come over here. I'm just gonna do this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and discard both my missionaries, which will get me. Two points and four bucks. Uh, plus, it'll give me three, so I need five points, please. Plus, if you didn't give me the two for that just now, I'm getting seven points this So, point. hang on. You're getting two points for completing the quest. Yep. Then three points because that was your fourth quest. Yep. And then I got two points for passing my guy if you didn't yep. give that to me already. I did not. Okay. Wait, I, hang on. I did because we were not around the same spot. So, I gave you two points. Mm -hmm. Can you re explain what this, this action is? You got seven points that turn, right? Yes. But I just yes. Want... If you place a cube on a little town that has one of your dudes, you get three dollars. Which is if good for me. Of, yes. Because I have like. Yes. To have that is good for you. Um. Oh, and the, the five means that if some like, for instance, if you put a cube here on my town, mm -hmm. five means I could replace that cube. Yes. Okay. Or you could replace it with a different because you can fight for whatever country you want. I need to draw cards. Should I just get two off the top? Okay, I'm I done. think. Okay. Yeah. Wait, these are your two. I'm Did a big. You look at them? I mean, yeah, I don't know what they mean, but I'm a big believer in heart of the cards. I just don't think Josh liked his cards. No, I actually needed one of the symbols on these. So. Uh, if you want me to take them, no. I'll probably get to keep these. I'll take these because I really needed that spyglass symbol, and I did not get a spyglass symbol, so that's cool. <sighs> Josh and I running through the cocaine fields of Cartagena. I might as well. I mean, Cable already said it's not a very sound strategy, so. <laughs> no, I we'll didn't. I <laughs> did not say it's not sound. I just said what people have said, and this could be very wrong because we've only played the game like five times. Uh, so did you say? Cable said he's one. Did doing you just take your second so. action? Yeah, and I have one doing it. I won really handily doing it. I need you to do your second action, please. My second action. Did you do your second action? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Rob went to a second. Yeah, okay. My second. turns take very little time. Campbell's turns take forever. I know. We were just talking about stuff, is the thing. I'm waiting for you to take a turn. I know exactly what I'm going to do. COVID 19! Card.
And I get this to game's pretty action. fun. Yeah, it's a good game, isn't it? Uh, what cards to play? All right, well, while you're doing that, I'm going to come up to here. I'm going to discard two. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to score four points plus another two. Josh is doing the fun stuff. So I'll get uh, six points. Cool. Uh, and I'll draw two. Oh, no. And I'm not even up. Can't, hold on. Campbell, are you drawing any cards? I'm not even I up. I am drawing a card. Do you want one of these or do you want one from That's here? That's a good question. Because I am also drawing two cards. What does this one say here? I don't know. Uh, place at least one figure on this card when buying it. Two coins per figure. And then you get income based on how many dudes there are. That seems cool, but it's too late to be crushing income, so I'll take one. All right, card. so I'm giving this smuggler three corn. And he's going to give me $5 and two points and two power. Okay, cool. Got to get two points. Can you? See how fast that turn was? Nice. Yeah. So it's back to me? Yeah. When, when, when like, cool. half of my turns are planned out because I'm just stopping on is my guy. anything, is there any reward with fighting that lets you move the guy down here? Actually, you can just go ahead and fight. Maybe fight. It, there might be a glove on one of these, but I've never seen one. Sure, go ahead. So I, I don't Ooh. think so. Okay. And then we'll... Uh... Well, Campbell, I'd say this this is wine. Yeah, it's fine. I should probably go finish drinking my glass of it. You've had those here the whole time? So this Campbell's like, man, I should me some wine. I, and then I told him, hey, are you going to open I'll a bottle go, I'll of go my drink wine? That. We just started playing... And then he didn't drink it. No, I'm gonna drink it because it's your wine and I oh. opened it. You know I just bust your balls. I do, man. but that's still. Rob, what? Can I take fat, fat sloths for my credit? Get a point if I fight for England. I guess I'll keep fighting for England because sure. I have so much power in England. All right, so I get two power when I fight. It wasn't that exciting. And then England is worth three and a point. And then we're so, done with that business. Then we'll see what this guy says. If he doesn't take my deal, because I'm about to turn Fast Sloths into Heroes of Terranoth, which I want, uh, and Victorian Masterminds, which I also really want. Mm. So let's take that off my this for you, six. I thought you loved Victorian Masterminds. I, oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. Like, it's great. I love it. <laughs> I want to get it. It's so fun. Um, I also want a handful of these. Aren't these the best? And then let's place... Did you imagine if I had that was like chocolate yeah. filled? Last night, I had, I mixed popcorn, M and M's, and pretzels together in a bowl. Smart man. My turn. It was tasty. Uh, cool. I just have to. Cool. Uh, I'm yeah. gonna go ahead. I get a five move. Oh, so I got there. three, four, five. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. I'll get two dudes and five, four points. Cool. I'm going here, and uh, I'm gonna get three bucks, and I'm gonna get eight points. Okay, so it's back to me already, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, I only have five cards. I do need to draw a card. Ugh. Okay, do I have a Coco? Yeah, I do. Perfect. I suppose let's come over here and get some info. Oh, I did get one influence when I fought for it. Yeah, I think my strategy is not good. I don't know. Campbell's bomb will come. I'm just like, game. I'm just like, like stopping know, You guys here. are both doing good. Sure, Cam. <laughs> I need a card. Get a card. Okay. All right. Oh, Pardon? I need cards. Three of them, to be exact. I really don't want to fight. Do I want to fight? Mm. Fighting's cool, man. Debatable. I mean, I I normally don't fight that much, but it's really good, and I I really enjoyed it this game. And I think that's the reason, like, I'm just doing a thing you guys aren't doing, and that's why I'm excelling at it. Oh, no, I discarded the card I wanted. Can I, if I go here, do I have to take this action, or can I take a village action? Because I just want to move two spaces. But that puts I, me here. I think you can only do village action okay. on village. Then I'm going to go here. And right, I have five upgrades, so I can just do this. Three. Right? Anytime you want. Oh. Yeah, and I get good. three bucks and three points, okay. which is probably the most important part. Mm -hmm. Can I get three points, please? You got a lot of money to rub. 
Yeah, I'm gonna buy one of these endgame cards. Which one's the best for me? Probably the guys. Since I'm oh, hundred percent the guys. Since, dude. since oh, I'm at the max. That's worth sixteen points. <laughs> It's up to two spaces or up to three spaces, right? What are you talking about? For the the this guy. Right, right. Well, up to whatever your max movement is. Yeah. Max movement. Um, I am going to discard these two. And I'll bump up one. And I will take a four. I'm gonna stop here. And then hold on. Wait, four point. What the hell is going on? Josh, I'm 39. Yeah, using all your guys is crushing you, crushing for you. Wow. Give you a bunch of points. We'll see. Well, I think it's finally time to do the thing I've been waiting to do this whole game and build this stupid harbor for. Oh, I have one here for $14. And that gives me that, so three point income. I have way too many Bibles. Two, this is four, six money income. <laughs> I really I don't want to skip up there because moving is like the core of my game and I don't want to miss out on that, those points, you know? Mm -hmm. But let's see, if I were to also move, I could get two, three, four, and that could give me one, two, three, four. Did I get my point income? Yeah, I gave, I gave, remember when I said I'd given you your points but not your money? Yeah. I gotta get that wine. Drink that wine. 100%. Hey. Gizmo must have been laying against the button and put that chair out. <laughs> when I get to the end there, does that just mean that as an action I get 10 points? What's that? No, no, first person. This is like end of the line. Yeah, but why does it have the A symbol next to it? That's a village action. It doesn't have an A symbol. Oh. It does. Oh, right here. Oh, maybe when you reach that spot, you get a village action one time. Will you look, please? Because that is important. It's definitely Because it'd be sick if it was just like, village action, 10 points. Cool. Fucking let's do it. That that would be great, but I, I'm pretty sure that's not the thing. Whose chair um, is it? Mine. Where is... Come on, let's get me moving. Once your explorer reaches the end of the explorer track, it remains there for the rest of the game. You can immediately perform a village action. More than one explorer may be on the last space of the track. The first explorer to reach a space for 10 victory points, 8, 6, 7. Okay. If a later action allows you to move your explorer, you lose this movement. Oh, this stuff tastes a lot better after it was sitting out. It was really, 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 really acidy. Really? When I first took a drink. Yeah, but letting air get into wine helps the flavor. Okay, so my first action. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, 100%. I'm sorry. I've been eating these all day at my house. Actually, no. These the high V, the high V ones, five mm -hmm. bucks. The five buck, uh, mm -hmm. the five buck box. I think it was more than five bucks. I bought some yesterday for five bucks. Yeah. Maybe that's what they are. Yeah, but I got mine. It's probably my turn. I wasn't really paying attention. It's going to be your turn in just a second. I'm taking six bucks. All right. I'm going here. I'm going to do one action. I'm going to play England the Fleet. Thanks, Campbell. Uh, I get four point income. Sing a snap. And this card's for seven points. Yeah. That's good. You got to pay ten bucks for it, though. I did. I know, but I'm saying it's like it's not like you. You had to have some. It's not. Yeah, but it's me. but it's better than the twenty dollar card. Yeah, oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. No, you, no, I'm saying you did the hard work mm -hmm. of having I five did. white cubes on the board, and then I was able to snake that before you snagged it. I mean, that's fine. Right now, the fact that I'm up at the top of that track is worth thirty points, so the hard work is going to pay off. Oh my god, you guys can compare dicks later. Take your turn. Probably I already compared dicks before you got here. This turn that I'm going to do is going to get me 17 points. 
Well, cool. The turn that I did four turns ago got me six points, but that is multiplied by three. Wait, why is it 30? Wait, so are all these added together? No, no. So three, four, five, because it's got the most cubes out right now. Five. Multiplied by six. That's what I'm saying. This is one, two, three. Mm -hmm. And we can't share I thought this. I thought this number was just going to get bigger. Oh, no, 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 no. You're um, adding them together. I think you guys... I think it's time for me to end this round, because... Y'all are making some pretty big point engines. Um, what card do I want to play at the end of the round? Probably the same one. I don't really have enough money for. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to go to the end. Now, do I fight or do I move? Moving. I can move four spaces. Wait. What are your main actions? What do you mean? It says. Like the mercenary. Get two, oh. then move one to three steps and perform another main action. Main action is whether you're on a city or on a village. Oh, so you can do a village action or a main action. No, a main action is so like see how it says main actions on this board there? Yeah. Like when once you've moved, if you landed on the city you can do that. Mm -hmm. If you land at a village, you can do that. Right. So I'm saying I could I could land in San Juan, get my two, and then move three and still get an action. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. So if I keep moving, I can finish my card. That's cool. But I want to cross the third line before I finish my card because it's expensive. Four points. Four spaces could give me five bucks. Mm. Four for power. being buds with Spain. Oh man. I think I'm actually gonna pop here. So I was there. One, two, three, four. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and play a card. This dude. For five. And that's gonna go like that. One, two, three, four. Man. I gotta drop I'm this. not really feeling last of this track. And then my second action, I can place a cube somewhere where. Um, what are they saying? Like 150s? I'm going to place that. For negative score? And get a coin. Oh, yeah. I'm not feeling it. But who knows? I think most games at round four have been about there and then made it to about there. But I, again, that's Cam saying that. So who knows if that's true? My turn? Yep. Okay. I'm going to go one, two. Then I'm going to get two actions with my first. I think you have to pay me a dollar. Why? My guy's there. Oh, okay. Here. Oh, that's what the guy's thing is? No, he's joking. I mean, like, I own this space. Yeah, so. you do. Well, actually, nobody owns that space. France owns this space. You just have an assistant there. I'm just saying. He's, like, on the docks going, like, you want to stop here? Let me see that coin. Okay, so he's on the dock in. swinging um, his I need a income. I need a, a income increase of two, please. And then I'm going to go ahead and discard these two for four bucks. I, I made a decent income loop this round. Okay. Hold on, I'm not done. So I'm, I have. A, I'm going to get at least two turns, right? Or I'm gonna get two turns. Because uh, you're gonna. You're only gonna get one turn if you go there. Oh wait, but you can't go there. So. What? What I'm saying is like if you went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that would be then you get the three points instead with your second. Cool. What I'm saying is I get two turns, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Then. <clears throat> I've got to do that for sure. So should I do this first? I think so. I'm going to stop up here in Maracaibo. I'm going to dump this shipbuilder. So let me get up into this one. And then, uh, oh, I guess I put that out there. And then, um, 
I'm gonna fight. Yeah, fight. And I have four. If I use England, which I'm gonna use England, so I want to give them a three space on England. So, what's a little banner? I get like a, I get an extra movement on. France. You, yeah, you get an extra influence if you fight for France. Nah, I'm gonna do this. Do England for four, and then I have four power. So for two, for two of it, I could go like this, right? I would take a white cube. And I could put it like on this face with my guy. He and took I, my trade. Wait, what's that? And I get three dollars. I am wheeling and dealing. I got two new board right? games, and it cost me zero dollars. I'm doing this bottom space. Yeah, yeah. And that lets me move up one on on white. Mm -hmm. Or is that one of my choice? Or it's the one I'm. It's the one I'm picked here. Yeah, it has to. It has to be the country you went with. Okay, so I use two of that. I have. I have two more left. What I could do is use two and four. I could use all of that, which I can't because I need two to do my last move. So I can use four if I wanted to, and I could place another cube, but there's well, no more place to put You can't place cubes. another cube because you need to slash one, and you can't do the lower part again. You already did it once. What? You can't do this action again? Yeah, no. So like you yeah you need to get to six if you wanted to place another cube. Yeah. Right. So yeah. realistically, then I could just I could just not spend any of my power and just move this up one more time, mm -hmm. and then that'd use this whole card up. Yep. Cool. I'm gonna go fight. I get three power. And I get a card. I'm gonna fight for Spain. It's, it's yeah. I gotta spend two dollars to fight for Spain, but I get six power with them, and so we'll do. Do you love me? So we'll spend eight total power. What does this mean exactly? It means suck my butt, lose it. Do I do a combat with France at this moment. No, when you do a combat as France, you get two power. <laughs> oh, that because uh, reds are passive. Okay, I want that. So I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna slash that. Uh, no, I'm gonna slash that. And oh, we're buddying up with Spain now. Well, I'm already at the top of the England track, but okay. so I'm gonna get two love with Spain, and I get a dollar because it's on one of those spots. Where did I throw my two coins I just spent? I don't know. Did I give them to Rob? I don't know. But while you're doing that, I can go ahead. Will you move me up? Oh please? no, they're right here. Um. And then I get two more dollars because I. I'll go ahead and move up to whatever. You You're know. going to the end, stop, end yeah. spot? So I'm going to get um, three points for this, plus another three, so I'll get five points. Okay. And four bucks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's the end of the round. Hold on. Hold on. i got to draw cards. I'm not done yet. Yeah, he's not done yet. I have two actions. <clears throat> What I'm going to do is I'm going to spend $20 for the governor. Oh, I was going to do that one. That guy's cool. And I'm going to get the crown. There you go. And when I gain the crown, I, I'm going to get six total point income. I get four for the governor and two for Conquer Village. Yep. Um, and then for my second action... So I'm just going to take, oh, I'm going to do this action where I get a this and I get a dollar. Cool. So no, then, bad. Josh, have you drawn? I just did. Then we need to get a new card out. Oh. Oh, I need to draw two. Sorry. Okay. Hold on. So first off, this is here, and then those are yours. Cool. I'm just taking one off the top. Okay. So, cool. now, so we, now we're the end of the round. Now the end of the round. Anybody can buy a card if they want. I, I don't have money card. to buy cards, so I'm just taking two points. Then we'll do income. Rob, I'm giving you your 14 points We can points buy right a now. card if we want. Yep. I'm giving you your 14 points as we speak. 
14 points. Cool. Um, I'm going to get $33. I'm broke. So let's hope this pays off. I'm taking this guy off, Campbell, mm -hmm. and I get two points and two dollars when I do that. See, Rob, you told me that you set yourself up for failure. Look at that. You're still going to win. Okay. I mean, I probably will, but I've also played this game a billion times. So, uh, not a billion, but like way more than you guys hey, have. Hey, so. shush up. Shush up. Okay, so my so now these retroactively kick in, right? <clears throat> so I get an income bump of four, and then I get a point bump of four. Okay, and I'm going to give you your four points right now. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Okay, I have not given you your money though. So okay. You so how much money do I get? Twenty. Just twenty bucks. Okay. 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 So we're ready to begin the final round. Let's set up the take the cubes off. We're gonna reset the cards. And then we're gonna put quests out on sixteen and ten. 10. Maps are in this round. You guys. I have like no money income. But I'm making money a bunch of different ways. Otherwise. Yeah, like I told you, you don't have to have money income. You just have to get money. And obviously, you've gotten money. Okay. <clears throat> Getting to the top of money is worth 10 more points. Also, once you once you make it to the top of money. Whoa, whoa, start... whoa. Nobody ever told me that. Uh, yeah, I forgot to tell you that. But if you get above money, you get point income. But yeah. usually it doesn't happen until the final round of the game. So it doesn't like if you could really crush okay, it. Anyway, you gave me 14 points. Yeah, I did. And I get $12. And Josh goes first this round. Oh, I do? Okay, I don't need a worker, so I can skip on past yeah, that. Yeah, usually people skip on past Santiago at the end of the game. So I'll get two points. So I think. Is this is the last round. This is the last round. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. Can I get four quests this round? No. Uh, it is possible. You'd have to get two, like, of uh, the cards that let you get quests on your own, though. So you're saying not they're called, likely. Like, they're called, uh, I can't remember what they're called. Canyons or something. I don't know. Canyon arrow. Don't How is Cam going to get some points? Do I get something cool? Remind me what these are the up here. bottom of the point tracks. Because this is now in play. So remind me what these are. Circles that you own. You yep. own two. Yep. Oh, that's good for me, too. Assistance you have. Mm -hmm. You 12, have one. That's six. I have two. Two. Uh, ship upgrades you have. I have. Times two. One, two, three, four, five. And amounts of, amount mm -hmm. of times you fought. Oh, that one's stupid. That's only three. It's not stupid for Cam. <sighs> I want two of those cards. Can I make $40 this round? I mean, you already have 20 of it. Can I buy two, can I buy two in one round? Anytime you can buy a card, you just remember you have to have a guy to put on it too. I don't. Oh, so when I buy a card, it can be up here. It just it, I for some reason I thought that was just at the end of the round. No. You can buy those. No. You can always buy them. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um. I mean, I gotta buy this thing though. I can do that. Take two points. I'm gonna take an A action. Mm. Yeah, that seems good. Okay, so I'm gonna come here. So I'll get. Did you give me my two points for skipping? No, I have not. I'll take two points for skipping. I'll go ahead and go there with my A action. I'm gonna discard these two. Let's use her ability to get two points here, and I can move two, three, four. I'll go one, two, three, four. And I'll score eight points and four dollars. Cool. My turn? Yep. Yeah. Um, we scored how many points? Eight. Wow. Because I was the first one to cross here, and then I landed That's here. That's nice. Yeah. And did you give me my two points for this lady? I, did. I said You did? For passing your, I'm gonna go... passing your person? Yes. But did you also give me two points for the native? What, no, for, you, for crossing the native, right? No, the native's ability is that if I have several village actions, the, I, it's my last one, but I can discard two of that symbol, I get two points, and then I get to move my guy. Hang on, so what's the deal? I just get two points when I, I use two map symbols over here. Right. And then I get. But it's a village action, right? The last village action that I take. 
But did, what did you, didn't you play a card also? Or no, you didn't I, I took two dollars and I got my A action. And the last A action that I took. Oh, gives you two points. Yes. I didn't do that for you. Okay, what so you I need, need two more points. An anchor and six income. And I get two bucks. Try that. And that's my turn. Okay. So what happens if I get to the bottom of this? Uh, you just get 20 points right now. And then. Because we score 20 times. Oh, that's turn. what you meant by that. Yeah, like if you score 20 on how many times more you'll score. And then you just loop back. Oh, so if I would have done that last round, I would have got 40 points. And then looped back. Right. That's but then you wouldn't be scoring out at the end of the game. Right. Yeah. You just take it now. and then mm -hmm. That makes oh, more and sense. Then... And you guys are like, there's no way we'll get to 75 by the... No, no, Like, I don't know. But you're saying, like, I'm going to end here one more time around. I'm saying that's usually what... No, I'm saying you usually, like, hit, like, 75 and then you get up, like, 150. What we kind of done... But you are really crushing point scoring during the game yeah. because of all your assistance. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you'll so, probably end up a lot higher than so that. So I have two more actions. I'm going to do this. Okay. I'm done. Okay. Oh, okay. gosh darn it. That's my own fault. I've been paying a buck still, even though I've had this thing upgraded. <laughs> oh, man. All right, what do I want to do? Do I want to play any cards from hand? I need to know. I, did this one have to be my last action? Can I only just do it once? Oh, you can only do it once because... It has to be on an empty space, so that's what limits you. So it could be my first action. So if I pop in here, one, two, three, four, five, and get two actions, I can start by placing this red cube. You say this has a maximum of fifteen? Oh, because you have. These are only five different five. tokens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is you get four points. That's per a maximum guy of sixteen, but yeah, it's four points per guy. Then these ones don't have maxes, but it's only two per. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, this one's maxed by how many ships you can have, and I guess this one's maxed by the amount of combat tiles that are in the game. Um, okay, so I'm gonna play a card. Uh, but first I get to play that thing there. I get a point with Spain, and I get a coin. And these are all ship upgrades. What's that? These are all, like everything here is a ship upgrade. Everything you've unlocked, yeah. Okay. And then uh, one, I'll two, pay eight for four. Spain, a lot Armada. I'll get two bucks. And then I'll get three, four, five. So I can go. I gotta draw a card. What's over there? Anything good? Can I get one off the top, Rob? Mm -hmm. So I'm right here. So let's see. I can move here. I'll be able to move one more time there. I can maybe get three more moves. So. Four dollars. Wait, is that four dollars and six points? No, it's four and four. Okay, so four and four. Okay. I don't know whose turn it is. I'm just pointing at people. I'm done. You're done. Okay. Oh, you've already gone. Yep. Okay. Um. Well, I don't have two maps, and that'll only be worth three points and four bucks anyway. So screw that. Let's go. One, two, three, four. And we'll drop a Spain cube or an England cube. Oh, I get influence with them if I drop the cube. So we'll drop a Spain cube and get a coin. Then second action will be to, I suppose play patron for nine. And that's get an influence in any one nation. Boop, Spain. And then I get a card. Anything cool on the stack? No, not really. Could I get one off the top? Mm -hmm. That's me. Okay. I am gonna. Oh, now here's the question: Can I get twenty more dollars somehow? Well, I guess I just need seventeen more dollars somehow. Cause wait, I buy cards for two less, so. 
I might be able to do that. Let's move there. Take two actions. I can't do this more than once. So the first is going to be... Yeah, that's a really good... I told you, setting up these guys is going to do really good. I've noticed these assistants are really powerful if you lean into them. Oh, I need to move one more time before the end of the game, too, to get... Oh, they only give me two points and six bucks. But that's a way I can get six bucks. Are you going right now, Josh? Yes, I am. Campbell, you play this game exactly the way I would expect you to play it. How? Yeah. This is very different. I, I've almost never gone into combat. No, no. I just mean like you're going to score so many points at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. That's not always how I do it though. Be no, okay. because I never go into combat, and combat's where you get a ton of your endgame points. I'm just saying, in games in general, this is the first time I was going to play this game with you. That's how I would assume. But, I, I mean, you, everybody gets a lot of endgame points. That's It's just an endgame point type of game. I don't think I am. Besides, like, from my cards, right? Yeah, but you have a bunch of cards that are worth a bunch of points, don't you? Yeah. Like, most of my cards are worth two points. I guess I have two cards that are worth five and seven, but... I don't know if this is worth I mean, it. Then we're the same. So you have gone, and Josh is finishing his turn. I'm finishing my turn. And you went, you like, so it's back to me. Yeah, yeah. this thing has no points on it. Boo. Okay. Uh, am I going to get another upgrade before the end of the game? Well, I'm definitely not going to do anything with this guy. So might as well no. pitch him in. What's this one? The Academy? Two points for what? Two points per ship upgrade. Per ship upgrade. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably do that one. Time to fight. Ooh. What do we got? I get a point if I fight for... Spain? Well, let's fight for Spain then. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, let's fight for Spain. So, um, I gotta be. Oh no, I get a point. I and then like... I get three power. I get three power before I fight. Wait, what did I do? Oh, I bought a guy for my first so... action. And then for my second action, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a corn. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these two. For four bucks. Oh, so you are still taking your turn. I'm just finishing my turn. Okay. So I have my second village action. And then, so that was two of my three power that did that. And then I have no, one more power. Two. And is there anything cool out um, here? No. So yeah, so let's just spend all that power, I think. Uh, oh, get, and that will get me no. uh, two points. Yeah. One, two, because I was the first one to do that. And I'll get a crown. Holla. My, 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 crown, crown. Doom, 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 doom. Okay, so oh, I gotta be careful because Spain is the thing that's most out there now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Three, mm -hmm. six, and there's only five, six England. Yeah. So I don't know what happens if they're tied. I guess. Uh, I'll yeah, but you're like way up on both of them. Yeah, but yeah. I'm getting two more points for England cubes this than I am for Spain cubes. Here, I'll move up one. Here, I'll get six points. Josh getting all them points. And then. I'll do that. And then for my upgrade here, I'll take um <coughs> let's see. This wine's making me a little warm. Yeah man, it's wine. Oh, it makes you warm. Is it my turn? Has anybody been talking to us on the no. stream? We've had like multiple people pop in, but nobody said anything. I don't think this is an especially riveting game to watch. Yeah, probably not. Well I'm surprised. I stopped at this next explorer guy who scores me four points. You guys have so many more points than me right now. And then down here I get three more points. I get three bucks. Yeah, but I've got one last big turn and it ain't gonna do a lot. Okay. Oh, so it's me. Yep. I guess it doesn't matter if I move one more time. It only gets me two points, so who cares about that? But I would like to get one more ship upgrade. Which yeah, I'm I need to. I guess I'll need to drop a corn if I want to do that. I need one more. Uh, let's be able to do that. One, two, three, four. Skin it up, 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 up. Oh, it finally works. Like I've been like so much slower than everybody. I don't oh, have two oh man, you guys them. skipped over that quest. I might do one. Hey! Yeah, get one done. What? 
So I get two points for every... I get... Did you take a turn? I'm just trying to figure out. I think this is the best move. Okay. So we'll drop a corn. And that lets me get ten points. Well, that, right, that's the one at the end is just a straight ten points. And then I get to move up to four spaces. So one, two, three, four, one, two. I guess that's the spot to stop. And so I get five points there. How? Uh, because I crossed that oh, bar. Oh, right, 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 right. One, two, three, four, five. I'm definitely not going to green. Do you get those ten points now? Or is that I point? already got my ten points. Oh, you already gave me mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I get three coins, and then I'll pull. I'll pull this, and it'll be worth four coins, and I'm flipping the card for two mm -hmm. more coins and two more points. Okay, I believe you. Jump in the line. So, uh, if I if I do this, I'm gonna get four dollars and two points because I have two compasses. What's that? Two points and four bucks because I have two compasses, right? Yeah, you get two points and four bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Is that worth okay. it? So I need to buy one more card before the end of the game. I'm gonna go here. Whoops. But like when this happens, so. we're gonna get actually two more turns, right? Yeah. Wait, but man, you get eight points if you finish first. What? Yeah, but then if somebody lands at the same time as you, they'll get three points. So you're only popping up on them. There. So like finishing first is not a bad idea. Okay, hold on. All right, so for my turn, I get one action, and I think my one action is gonna be to discard both of these to get four dollars. How am I gonna get? So I'll take a fiver. Five, that back, five, ten. Is the question. You have four dollars? Is that because of a card you have or something? Uh, yeah, discard right here. Discard two identical goods for four dollars oh. as your last. Oh, two. Good. Oh, okay, I thought you were yeah, doing so discard just, all the no, cards. No, so I did. Here. I did these. Cool. These two. Hold on. But I don't think actually. Oh crap! No, I did that. To Wait, did I do that right? No, I did that wrong. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um. Okay, hold on. This goes back. All is right with the world. Okay. I'm not doing much. I'm going I think here. my thing, I'm going to spend five, five. five. six dollars to spend, five. drop this guy down to get this on the 18. Five. And then that will get me this thing, which will get me anything here. I don't think so. Oh, but then I get, oh no, that's when I go there. Right. Okay. So now we're all set. Okay. Hey Rob, did you do your thing? Uh-huh. Rob, Josh, you draw your cards? Uh one, two, three, four, five. Rob, did you draw your cards? I did. Sure did, Cam. So oh, like, I only have five cards. You toss me a card. So this is just like a mini version of the thing that's out there. Maybe. Well, because you just get it. You get that right at that moment, though. Right. It's not I mean, an end game thing. But yeah, you have it now. I mean, it's just one. If I can't get the 20. I'm trying to get $40 for the end of the game. Oh, that's going to be hard to do. Well, how much money do you have right now? Like 24. I'm going to have to push this. Oh, and I've got uh, three synergy tokens. So, I'll, oh, whoops. <clears throat> this guy was here, I think. Yeah. I'll grab this guy, and I will get three points and $3. Two, four, six, five. Um, well, I definitely have to come by a couple of these, and um, I'll start by getting that one. Do you get a buy card at the end of the game too? Yeah, you always you get to buy a card at the end. So that did that, and gave me a crown, so I get two boosts. Boom. Is your this stuff worth anything at the end of the game? I don't think so. You're right. Okay, my turn. I'm glad I'm rocking seven. Yeah, I'm glad I'm rocking five. Okay. You guys have done like zero fighting, is why you have so much of that stuff. Mm -hmm. About three times. Okay, that's I, about as much as I fight when I avoid fighting. So that's about right. Okay. I mean, what you fought every I'm going to move to 18, please. I will gain an influence here. Aw. 
I get uh, two village actions. For my first village action, I'm going to spend $20. Wait, no, damn, I'm three short. I did my fucking math wrong. Okay, whatever. I can still afford to do this later. It's not a big deal. For my first action, I am going to go ahead and... Um, what happens? I wonder who gets more points if there's a tie I'll take a dollar, two. And then for my second action... <clears throat> Three, six, nine, two, four, In case six, of a tile, nations 12, received the higher value. 18, 18, 19. So that's plus one back. So then I can get rid of these two here. Did you hear that? No. What? If there's a tie, all nations are going to receive extra two extra nine. points. Okay. Right here. Was that from a card or from a fight? From a fight. Okay. <clears throat> and I get three bucks when I do that. Go ahead, Cam. And I get, I get to move up one, right? Boop. Nice. I don't know what's better. Like this is worth a lot of points. Maybe I should move up on that. But well, you can't. You gotta go all. Oh, because because I picked because I picked blue. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's fine. I'll try to get it the, the times three on both of those, maybe. Hot dog. I mean, I'm still gonna lose, but I get to do one last cool thing. Go ahead and send me in, Cam. Hot dog. Boom. Boom. You got a lot of points. I'm going to move up one on green. Now give me 10 points. 91. We move me up to the 10 point. Mm -hmm. Then for my you get an action? action, I'm going to spend $20. Cool. So drop one of these. And I think the one that's going to get me the most so it's four points for this. That's four, eight, twelve. That's also twelve there, right? Because this is four points per guy that you've got out on the board. Yeah, is this still Josh's last? Mm -hmm. turn? That's four points per guy you got on the board. And it's and so I've got four, no. eight, twelve. Yeah, I've got a guy right here. No, no, he he took a really long one. Then you took a kind of long one. Then I dropped that cube and then went back to him. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I've got four, eight, twelve, right? Or I can go here and I've got three, six, nine, twelve. Or I don't I think I have as many and get there and I can I get four Maybe points. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna they, and they both give me two points. I guess I really am doing good on this. Bam! Mm -hmm. right I've, ne I've never been cool, Cam. Is this here? So you get two points because you're first person there. Yep. But then I gotta choose. Is this on sixteen? Yeah. yeah. So I have to choose to do that or that, huh? Mm -hmm. So I get two points for that. That sucks. I get that thing at the end. And then I'll draw two cards. I don't know why, but I'll draw two cards. Okay, so I'm going to get two turns. You and I are both going to get two more turns. Because I'm going to get eight points at the end. Yeah, we might as well take your eight points. Boom. So I'm going to get two more turns now. 101, please. Okay. And that got all messed up, but that's okay. And my second to last turn is just going to be going there. I think that. I was one upgrade away from getting 10 points. So I'm gonna go. One, two, three, <clears throat> and that gives me two actions. It's gonna be your turn again right after that too. With one action, I'm gonna go up one and get a buck. And for my second action, um, I'm gonna. Gonna be three dollars short. So for a second action, I'm gonna buy this card. 
Is it going to give me four money income? Four money? Yeah, and then it's going to give me... Oh, I forgot to get one more. Oh, I'm getting one more it's money. Gonna it's going to give me ten points. What's going to give you ten points? This. Oh, right now? Yeah. Yeah, I gave oh, myself okay. already. And then I get a card. I don't know if I'm going to catch up on this 50-point deficit. And then my right last now. turn, I'm going to go here. And I'm going to spend this. I'm going to get three to get seven three bucks. points at the end of the game for my money trick. So I need this. So that gives me five bucks. You buy before income though, right? So I don't have enough money. You should probably draw some cards at the end of the game. So I should put some stuff down in the Tetris stone. Oh, we still play out the end? You get to buy one more card. Oh, I, got, I have one more turn. I have so I'll get to draw cards at the end of my turn. Yeah. So I got enough. I'm going to buy the Sailor. Which gives me something before combat. Oh, I forgot to get me actually do combat with France. Probably that matters. I, I need four more money income. And then I'm done, I guess. Okay. So then, then my last action is going to be to go fight. Four for there. And get the point income and for there. And how many cubes do we have down? This is going to be. Oh, wait. I want to get Spain no matter what because that'll give me one whole more set of points. Oh, I get two more. On um, the so income. third place gets through. What's that? I get, I'm just remembering to pay attention to my cards. I got the crown now, so I got two yeah. points for the point income. These are all coin all right. incomes. So. Never got those. If I fight for Spain, I get four power. I have three there. So. Um, yes, we'll fight for Spain. And. I need money. So. I have four, five, six. So I can bump that slash in England and get four dollars. And that's what's up. And then I'll draw th three cards. <clears throat> I guess if there's something that gets me more than two, Go five, ahead. six, eight, ten, twelve. Spend your 20 and buy your thing. So now we can buy cards? You buy one card. Gives and me two points. None of these give me more than that. So I have the 18 I need. Because that'll be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Can I get more than 12? Not with mm. that. Not with Do that. Do we? Not with that. Not with that. So now we get not our with income. That. And not with that. Well, you don't get money. You're gonna get points. Oh wait, three so, points. Yeah. So I get three points. Hold on. I should have one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Oh. Then Hang on. So did we do the money income and yeah. point income? I took three I took three points for each of us. Okay. So and I already I'm, got my points. So then I'm getting so. eleven plus nine, which is twenty. Mm -hmm. So seventy five? Yep. And then Josh, did you get your six? No, I did not. Six points, please. Like it, Rob. Okay, and then we don't need to do that. Don't need to do that. Now we'll go to the end game scoring page. Did you give me my eight points at the end? Mm -hmm. Okay, just making sure. All right, so final scoring. Oh yeah, it's because we do this thing up here. Rob, Josh, you didn't buy a card, right? No, I'm taking two more points. Um. Oh, this shows. Okay, so. What does this mean right here? You add up the points. Victory the points for so you add up the points on all your cards. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 21, 30, 36. This is 79. Josh, how many did you get? 21, I remember. 21, so that puts you at 33. I got 31. That puts me at... 39? Or 8. Yeah, 39. 31 plus 8. Okay. Uh, next we do this. So... Um, next three. Which nation has gained the most influence of them? For each nation, the player has the most influence for three victory points. We score points. this too. Oh, I think this is just you get two points if you push the influence track. Did we score these? We'll do that next, I think. 
Hang on, wait. Oh, sorry. Prestige mm -hmm. building investments happen now. You're right. So let's just go down the line. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for eighteen. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. I get sixteen. I get. Uh, uh, so 12, hang on. Eight twenty-four. So Rob, so hang on. Rob, you're getting sixteen right now. Mm -hmm. Um. Thirty-nine fifty-five. And then you're getting twenty-four for both. Mm, yeah, total. Because I've got thirty-three. One, two, four, six, eight, ten, 57. twelve. Mm -hmm. And then this for me is worth two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Twenty-nine plus fourteen is forty-three. Mm -hmm. And here's where Campbell crashes. That yeah, that is gonna be where it happens. Uh, so I get six points for being at the top of those two. Mm -hmm. Rob gets three points. And then. Um, Oh, is this because whoever's farthest ahead? Yeah. Spain is the strongest. So Spain is worth 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, so 7 times 6 is 35. So 49. So. Uh, the thing that means the, like, the, the thing that does nothing for me in this game is the most important. And I think that that's. I, I, it's not the normally the most thing. important. It's just because you guys will let me run away with it. Normally, people are scoring like the same amount of points on this thing because people usually fight about the same amount. But so I'm sorry, 35 to 79, 84, mm -hmm. and then uh, Josh, you're green, right? Yeah. You get seven. Um, England is next, so one, two, three, four, five times six is 30. Josh, you're getting uh, 15. Rob's getting 10. 68. And then France is worth 2. And Rob's getting 6. Now, anything else? Hey, Rob. Suck it. Did you beat me? Yeah. I'm kind of surprised by that, actually. By 4 points. I thought I was doing pretty good. I thought you guys had way more tableau points. Hey, you saved two power. I saved two power. I was off the rhythm at the beginning of the game when I was like, I did, I, I didn't really know what I was doing, so I like I went slow and like, I mean, just like took a buck. If we were, we're putting stupid. my first game score against your guys' first game score, I think you both beat you by like a hundred. So, I mean, I I screwed myself the first time I played. I mean, I imagine you could. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. If you don't have any money. No, I did, I did great on money the you first time I played. You scored 214 points. Yeah. You sure did. I got 179. I mean, is that like a crazy good score? I, I, I'll have to ask Tim. I think Tim keeps track. It might not be. Yeah. Um, but definitely, like, this is the only time I've seen, like, only one person do military. And that's definitely, like very very powerful if that happens because all the other games i've played everybody's been kind of fiddling with it and then like everybody scores like maybe one person scores more but everybody scores like relatively i mean i was getting lots of power like i probably should have been doing it more but like but you know i've seen games where the person does like but usually you but you can't do everything i mean you kind of can but obviously you, can't, you said you can't ignore military yeah no you yeah I just said you want to go hard into one thing and then do everything else no, and then fairly well. Do something else. As well. I did. I think. I think I did military fairly well. Like I'm saying, you guys both probably beat my first game score by a hundred. Like you guys did way better in your first play than I did. Save two power. <laughs> no, that's not what I mean. I mean, like, like you guys rocked this game like way better than I did first play. The only reason I did like you know. It's just because I played the game like six 